he got it from Charles. I said, Charles has no idea about any meeting. I yeah. just talked to him. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. yeah, I think some of the women uh, picked it up. And anyway, it's so funny. We, yeah, we had a great night yesterday. Then I had to call Goes Mender back. I called Charles back. I went back to everything that I did delete it and correct it. It was fun. It was a fun ride, though. No, no, it was fun. I didn't think it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. You know, because all of us are like, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting to hear from Ash, which is good, though. It's just kind of good. But that was like a breathe of like a breathe of fresh air. So, oh, he's it's tomorrow, you know, but then it's yeah. kind of gone. But it was fun. It was fun. It was a fun mistake, actually. I hope one, nobody. One time on my live, which I won't do it again, but I, I was on and I go, hey, I should do something just to mess around, and I go, oh, by the way, Sunday at midnight is soft launch. And I waited. I, 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 I guarantee I didn't wait fifteen seconds. I went, no, I'm just kidding. There's no soft launch. I got phone calls. It went all the way to Africa and back. It went, you know, you saw yeah. once said, Marty says, I said, oh my gosh, I, with two seconds, I just said, I won't do that again. Holy cow. That was a mean joke too, because I had already emailed all of my group. Hello, everybody. Hey, Ron. Hi, Ron. <laughs> what a wonderful webinar you and Lynn put together on Friday night, Ron. Congratulations. Thank you. We had a lot of fun. It was Appreciate fun. everybody being there. It was fantastic. Yep. It was good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. All right. It's 11.01, Milo. Oh. You started? Do you have your song ready or you still remember your song? I'm <laughs> going to try. Let's try it one time. Here we go. Y'all ready? <laughs> Julian Milo Show is here to stay. You don't want to miss a single word they say. You bring a new founder from a near and far. Listen as they tell you now just who they are. Listen to their stories and how they tell in just three minutes. How they're doing well. How they are. And how they are solving that old blast the way on past it. It's a here to stay on passive. There's just no better way. Listen to the Julie and the Milo show. Cause then you will be the very first to know on passive. It's here to stay. Julie and Milo show is coming your way Saturday on passive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it away, Julie. That way. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today is June 24th, Saturday. S excuse me, it's July 24th. I'm a month late. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. So blessing. It's such a blessing for Milo and I to be able to sit down and uh, talk to a lot of our founders here. It's been running, the show has been running for almost uh, six months now. And we really appreciate all of your support, all of you being here. And I think we're having fun together. Uh, we call this day as a fun chat day. And sometimes fun or not, it's all in uh, depend on our each and, in, and individual people here that comes here. But we are blessed to have all of you here. So thank you so much for being here with us. Milo, if I could take a few minutes to say hi to some more friends and then we can get the show started. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Curtis. Hello, uh, Daniel. Hello, Dave. Hello, David from the UK. Hello, David Russell. Uh, hello, hello, friends for being here. Hello, Mosh from uh, Bangladesh. Hello, Jacqueline Lewis. Hello, James Williams. Hello, John. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Magnesh. Hello, Marion. Hello, Morat. Hello, Zoran. Good to have you all here. Hello, Rose. Good to have you here as well. Hello, Pooja. Good to have you here as well. I think Marty and I are trying to bring all of you into the panel so that we all can uh, turn on our camera and just see each other, having a great time together. Milo, it's back to you, Milo. Thank you for being here. Man, it's great to be back, man. And I'm so excited 
uh, when I read Chris Johnson's uh, email or whatever about there was going to be a, a meeting, man, I kind of got excited. But in the same sense, I thought, I don't think this would, would happen because if it's going to be that, it would be all the founders. You know, that's what I was thinking. But, uh, man, I'm just I'm excited about what's coming up and I just cannot wait for it to happen. And I know all of you guys are the same way. And, uh, you know, uh, just uh, some fun things coming up. And uh, I even went this morning, I dug out my old passport to make sure my passport's still good. Uh, so uh, when this thing launches and we put the Mexican trip together, you know, I want to be ready to go. And someone was saying it takes a long time. Now, I only remember it taking like five, six weeks to get a passport, but Someone was saying, man, it's taken quite a while to get a passport. So I wanted to make sure I had my passport. But uh, anyway, it was it's it's great to be here today. And let's see, uh, Julie, we, we got a hand raised. We, we want to go ahead and start off. You ready? Yes, I, I actually tried to bring, uh, to bring Karina in and it hasn't happened yet. So I'm working on my end, Corinne. I think Corinne wants, Karina wants to get on to the panel and it's coming, okay. Corinne. Um, you know what Milo just said? Milo just said that if it if there is an announcement of launching or whatever, there's going to be an official one. Who knows, right? Tomorrow it's a Q and A with uh, all the founders. Maybe it's you know you might want to be there, right? <laughs> Who knows? Who know if Ash is uh, gonna stop by and say hello? And That's that would Monday, be wonderful. Right? Julie, yeah. not, to, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Um, excuse me, I meant Monday. Sorry. Thank you, Milo. That's why I have you. <laughs> All right. Well, keep me around, would you? Yeah, of course, of course, absolutely. There's no Julie if there's there's no Julie if there's a my, Julie and Milo show, and there's no <laughs> there's no if there's no Milo, there's no Julie. Oh, come on. Up, man? <laughs> oh, by the way, Milo, you got to clear this for me, please. I went to Rancho Cucamonga uh, meeting in person, and one of the gentlemen asked me, Julie, where's your other half? I'm like, who's half? And he goes, <laughs> uh, your, your other half, isn't, aren't you and, and Milo married? <laughs> <laughs> And then Sherry came on. Sherry said, Milo is in Nashville. Julie is in California. And I said, oh my gosh, Milo, you need to clarify this out. Otherwise, I will never find the man of my dream. And you will never find a woman in your dream. Because you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you need to that's do funny. About this, Milo. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's funny, though. It, uh, sometimes it almost seems like we're married. We talk all the time, we, you know, and, and, and people would never even believe that we've only met like twice. Well, once was an extended three times, run, three, times, yeah. three times? Okay, three times, you know. Uh, so it's just, uh, it's can, fun. Can you tell a little bit of our secret really quick, Milo? Sure, go ahead. I don't know which secret you're going to tell, but it doesn't bother me. The secret that every single time I called you or you call me, where did we where do we talk the most? Oh my God, in the bathroom. Um <laughs> she calls me every time I go to the bathroom, man. I don't know how she does it. I think she's got a wiretap on me or something. It's seriously weird, like weirdly, you know? Every single time I would say that nine out of ten times I call Milo, she's in the bathroom. It's weird. Thank but, God for that mute button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, well, never, I never muted, Ron. I was like, we're married, you know? <laughs> Ron, I wish he pressed the mute button, Ron. <laughs> he don't. <laughs> oh. I missed that. What'd you say? I, I said just... that I wish he, he pressed that mute button. <laughs> but I don't, man. <laughs> You call me while while I'm in the bathroom, Julie. That's what you get. Oh boy! Because oh you boy. know I always answer your phone calls. I know you do. So. If it comes up, Julie, 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 and I'm like, oh boy, I better get this one. Uh, the other day when uh, Milo was at Curtis' house, right? 
So I couldn't get a hold of you because I think your phone was in your room or somehow. And I called Curtis. I said, Curtis, I couldn't get a hold of Milo. Where is he? And Curtis said, he's right here. And then he turned, he turned to Milo and he goes, Julie's trying to call you. And then what did Milo said, Curtis? <laughs> I was I was actually practicing with Curtis. We were doing a Zoom call between us. No, that it, was in that time. It was oh, another not, time. Oh, I was probably in the bathroom. I don't know. And then Curtis turned to you and Curtis said, Julie's trying to Julie's trying to look for you. And then Curtis say something to me. I thought that was really funny. Curtis, what did you say? Shoot, that was days ago. I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was turning around. He called Milo. And Milo said, oh, really? She's looking for me. <laughs> remember? Oh, yeah. I know, that, I know that I slept a lot while I was down there, actually. Kurt always posts pictures of me sleeping on the, sleeping on the couch whenever. And he posts a picture, and he always says, well, I'm sitting here visiting with my brother, and there I am sleeping. You know, he does that all the time. Uh, but actually, I, I was sick. What day was that? Monday, I think I was real sick, and so I was in the bed most of the day Monday. But, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't nothing that you couldn't have prevented. You just ate too many sweets. Easy, Curtis. Easy. <laughs> it always happens at the family reunion, man. I get sick because... They have such good food, and I just can't not eat it. And it, and so it, it sometimes messes with my sugar a little bit. <laughs> All right. So, Milo, um, do you have any updates for our coming up trip, our, our Mexico trip? No, it's all set. I mean, we're all set. The only thing we're waiting for is pricing, and I will have that. Uh, that will come out the, whenever we launch or whatever, because at the top point that we get pricing, then we have to put a little bit down uh, whoever's going. And I don't want to do that before we're actually uh, making money with on passive and, you know, that it, that it's rolling. But what, it's all set up. And I told her, I said, I told the person that I'm working with, I said, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. We're not committing to anything until on passive launches. Once on passive launches, then we will uh, – we'll get back with you. And, and at that time, I'll have a price. They usually break it out in like, you know, a little bit now, a little bit later, and then the balance. Usually they give you three times to pay or whatever. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a good time. Oh, you don't want to miss it. The, uh, we've, we've had a lot of reports that a lot of founders are going to be there. And uh, so it's just going to, it's going to be a good time. So the way for you to join the trip with the Julie and Milo show is to go to julieandmilo.com. Up on the right-hand corner, you see the tab called cruise information. <clears throat> originally, we, originally, we planned to have a cruise in, in, in January, but uh, cruise cannot happen. We cannot book anything for the next two years. So we turn around and book a trip to uh, Mexico, to Cancun. If you like to be part of it, just go to julianmilo.com and then uh, click on that tab. And then, uh, you know, or if, even if you haven't received updates lately, uh, just go on there and enter your name, email, and it, it just automatically send that updates to you. It'll, so tell you the, it'll tell you the motel, all the things there. It's got everything. And they will have karaoke. I made sure of that. I said, we don't want to go no place where there's no karaoke. They'll have live music bars, uh, you know, for adults. Or you can have, it's all inclusive. So you, it includes all your food, everything. Uh, there's four or five uh, restaurants there. And usually there'll be one that's like a steak and lobster place that if you want to go to that one, it'll cost you a little extra. But I'll tell you, I've never been disappointed in the food in uh, Cancun. And I've been there for, I don't know, 15 years or so, you know, so it's a good place to go. The one we're going to actually is, is great. If you have kids or grandkids, you can bring them. There's all kinds of things for them to do there. Uh, you know, there's golf courses there. There's everything there. Uh, but it's just a little bit south of Cancun. I think it's called, I can never say the word. Karina, Karina what is the, what's the name of that place? The one name you Excellent. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ishkaret. It's pronounced Ishkaret, but it's it's actually spelled X C A R E T. Yeah. I just learned that because I watched a whole bunch of videos on it. It is so beautiful. Oh yeah. Absolutely. If yeah, you, it's, not, it's nice. If you go online and you can look it up, it, but the the thing that we send out gives you all that information. You can click on it. You can see the resort. I don't know how many pools they got. They got a ton of pools. It's got the ocean there. Uh, you know, you can, if you've never been on a trip like that to Cancun, it's really cool. When you do the all inclusive, I tell people, man, you, you know, take some dollar bills with you. And if you give a guy a dollar bill, uh, that first night, you will never wait for a drink because they will be right there for you all night long, you know, and, and, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing place. It's very clean. Uh, the, the, uh, resorts are always very, very, uh, safe, you know, and, and there's places you can go and visit around the, uh, there, you know, they have actually things that you could go do if you want to, if you want to go visit the mine or the ruins and, you know, all this stuff, there's all kinds of stuff to do. Uh, you'll be amazed, but it, it'll be fun. But the main thing is more than going to Cancun, more than the food, more than all the beautiful places. It's the incredible people that will be there, you know, that will be there and we'll be able to get to hang out together. So I'm looking forward to it. I just told, I told Chris Johnson, I said, Chris, I said, if you go to sleep on me, I said, all I want to know is what color lipstick do you like? And he said, <laughs> huh? I said, well, if you fall asleep on me, I just want to know what color lipstick to put on you. So. Uh, you know, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun there, you know, so Absolutely. back to you, Julie. Yeah, thank you, Milo. I have not been to Cancun, so I'm so looking forward to that as well. Looking forward to that trip. Judy Miller, please unmute your mic and speak. Judy. Yes, um, uh, Judy and I will bring lots of lipsticks. Um, you said, Milo, that uh, that the price is all inclusive. When I looked it up online, um, it appeared that like if you wanted to do the like the putt putt golf course or this or that, it was separate prices. But so, are you getting a like a a one price deal with the person you're working with? Or I was confused when I looked it up online. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I was under the impression that it, that everything on the resort is included. You know, the putt-putt golf. And I don't think the golfing would be included. You know, I think you'd have to pay green fees for that. And maybe the putt-putt you have to. But most of the stuff should be included. But that's a good question. I, I don't know about putt-putt golf. Uh, I thought it was always included when I went before. Well, when I look things up online, I get confused. So it could be me, grant you. <laughs> well, it's something that I'll need to clear up. I'll clear all that up. Uh, let me, that's a good question. Let me uh, ask that and uh, find out. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. All right. So, thank you. thank you. So, that's our business for January. Coming up, the Julie and Milo show. Milo and I will be travel to Florida for August 8th to August 10th. Milo already there before that uh, for his grandson uh, performance, but I will be traveling down there and uh, I'll be landed in Orlando, Florida early morning on the 8th and then uh, be leaving on the 10th. I'm so looking forward to our friends in Florida. I know Judy and Ron and then there's a lot more uh, founders in Orlando. I'm so, so looking forward to it. So what I did was, um, let's talk a little bit about it. Um, we're gonna stay right around the office, about four minutes, I think just down street from where Mr. Ash Mufara is. And uh, if we are planning to have a meeting getting together, what I'll do is I need to see how many people are planning to come uh, how many people will be meeting that way. If you could please send me a, a message, a private message or my email, what's gonna happen is we're gonna be meeting there and uh, we plan, we probably gonna meet on the 8th, the 9th and the 10th even. If some can come on uh, the same day, it's great. I'm hoping to gather 
um, about 20 people at least, 20, 30 families, founders, just so that I can find a room for all of us to meet together. And what I'm planning to do is one, we have at least, you know, an idea of how many people and then I will definitely let Mr. Ash know that some of our founders are in town and I'm gonna need the help of Marty uh, also because I'll send one message and then when Marty talk with Mr. Ash, he probably gonna add some words to that as well. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be meeting there and we're just having fun. We'll just talk about on passive strategizing or just sit and chat and just hear everyone's talking I think is such a great blessing for all of us to be able to get out and be able to see each other. So that's gonna happen in Florida on the 8th and the 10th. So if anyone planning to be in Florida and Orlando, um, hopefully, and this is not a promise, I'm still working on the details, hopefully we get to see Mr. Ash Mofarad in person. So that's my dream. And remember, Mr. Ash Mufarad had promised with myself and Milo that we get to interview him on our show. He did that months ago. So we're gonna hold him down. I know that he's busy. So we're not gonna pressure. We're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna let him know that we are in town. A lot of people reached out and said, will you be scheduling meeting with Ash? I don't know. I don't have, it's all depend on his schedule. And that's one of the reason why I take three days to be there. Um, I know Milo came down to Orlando, Florida to see, to meet with him. And he did wait it for him because of his schedule. Milo, would you talk a little bit about your time being in Orlando to meet with Mr. Ashmofar? And will you wait? How long did you wait? It's really depend on his schedule. So we can't, um, you know, plan around that. We have to be there, you know, and whenever he ready to show up, if he does. Yeah, mine was very unique, Julie. I mean, I didn't know Ash at the time, Harley. I mean, you know, it was November in 2019. There was only like 2,500 people, I think, or something like that in it. And uh, I happened to get a hold of my sponsor, and she had a number for him. And so I texted him. And, uh, you know, so I, I was just down there killing time anyway. And so I told him, I said, look, I'm going to be at uh, Denny's, you know, if you want to come over, if you can come over, I'd love to meet you. And he said he would love to meet me, but he said he was really busy. Well, I waited the first night for a couple hours, which didn't matter to me. I was there anyway. And he called me and said, man, he said, I'm just too busy. The second night, same thing. I'm too busy. But he said, how long are you there the next day? And I was flying out at four o'clock. And so I got, got there at 12 and at 1.30, he showed up. And it was, it was well worth the wait. I'm telling you, if you meet Ash Mafaro, it is well worth the wait because the guy is the most incredible guy I've met, you know, and the passion in his heart and uh, just talking with him and stuff. He, he really, he is a real, he's the real deal. Thank you, Milo. Um, I know, I know the first, the first show that Milo and I were doing was how, uh, Milo meet Ash. So that was the very first show that we start. I'm looking forward to it. So let's plan um, <clears throat> friends around Florida. And if you could meet out there that way and let's plan a day, if we can meet a day or two days that had a lot of people, I think that would be great. And, and I think a lot of the meeting, one of the reason why I ask everyone around the world, if you are meeting in person, take pictures, do video and send them to me because I like to send that in to our office. I'm very sure their work is being done. He wants real people. He wants real founders to show up on the video, not just people on internet. He wants to see each and everyone's founders that are faces on the video. And, and I, I know for sure that there's a video prepared in the back for the advertisement you know, for the marketing of on passive, and it would not be great if you see yourself in one of those video. So if you are planning to go outside, uh, meet founders, even if one or two founders, not only take pictures, do a video, do a live, you know, just so that we can create a wave. My goal is to create a wave across the world. Whatever we can do, create the wave out in person live, not just Zoom in person live across the world. So what, when we launch 
uh, we have those video ready. So if you agree with me and you feel that it is something that you want to be part of, please uh, let me know. Please send me a message and I'll give you the det details of where uh, where the um, the meeting or where we will be staying and hopefully you could come and hang out with us. So thank you so much. And then um, on August 15th, I believe it's August 15th to August 19th, uh, is the time that I will be in Martinburg, West Virginia. Martinburg, West Virginia, it's only take one hour to go to Washington, D.C. And it's taking about two or three hours to Maryland to where Charles Osong is. And according Charles, to Charles Osong, there's probably hundreds of founders in Maryland. And then from Martinburg um, to New Jersey, where Marty is, it's only probably a few hours. Marty, where are you in New Jersey? Sorry, I was looking up Martinsburg. And, um, I'm in Mount Holly, right? Um, if you look at New Jersey, it looks like a, a torso with a head. I'm right, uh -huh. where the, right where the neck is. Okay. Straight across from Philadelphia. Yes, I'm looking up right now, New Jersey. Mount Holly, New Jersey. Let's see, according to my map, there is... It's about three and a half hours, yeah. right? From Martinburg to Holly, uh, to Mount Holly, New Jersey. So a few of us, I've talked to, I think I talked to Bridget. Um, we're probably gonna meet in Martinburg and then we're gonna rent a car and we're gonna do road trip. And this is only in the planning stage. So what's ended up happening is that, you know, I might be driving from New Jersey to Washington, DC, uh, or to Maryland, because there's a lot of founders that way, and Charles is going to get everyone together, who hopefully we do a meeting there. And then from there, we could go to Washington, D.C., and we could go to New Jersey to visit Marty. Uh, that is actually the dream, a wish to do it, and I don't know if we can do that in four days. Um, yeah, so if you like to be part of it, or you like to have an idea, of uh, what we should do, please let me know. Uh, we would love, love, love to meet you, to see you and to travel, do a road trip with you. Um, Milo, you have um, something to say, my love, my dear? I, did? <laughs> I was just gonna say, it sounds like a fun time, man. And I, I definitely want to, once the soft launch starts or the launch starts, and we start making a, a little of those apples, man. I want to travel all over and see a lot of people, you know, and uh, and just go wherever, you know, wherever I can help out or wherever I'm needed or whatever, you know. But I, it sounds like a great time going. And Julie, you know, I, I, I look at across the web and I see a lot of the, the presenters that have come up through us and they're starting to present a lot of the uh, webinars and stuff, and it makes me so happy, man. Uh, I know Kurt did one the other night with Ha Ha or with Hey Hey, you know, uh, webinar, and uh, who uh, Cedric's all the time doing them. I think uh, Polly does them quite a bit, you know, and uh, uh, Sherry, I think she does a puja, of course, is uh, she's in with uh, Breathe the, the, the Breath Soul or whatever, you know, and it's just fun to watch people as they, you know, they come out of their shells and they start to, uh, you know, uh, do things, you know, and it's just, it, it, it blesses me, man. I'm happy. Absolutely. And then we have Judy Miller did a, a presentation on Chris's, um, you know, webinar as well. So there's more <laughs> coming up and I gotta, I gotta go through with everyone about sharing, sharing the screen because I've watched some of those webinars and our friends haven't know how to share the screen where you can actually see it. I, I've watched, um, you know, several recording and I thought, you know, maybe something that I can give a tip to when they share the screen. So let's do that in a little bit later. Marcian, you have your hand raised. Would love to hear from you, Marcian. Yeah, happy weekend to everybody. And I wanted to ask about the trip 
if we have to go from one city through another one, how is going to be the modality of transportation? Are you going to have a, a, a bus or we're going by train or how are we going to do it to be there at the same time? So I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know if I even have a vehicle there. So I'm kind of asking everyone just to have an idea. So what ended up going to be happening is, I hope, well, the reason why, let me start this. I don't know how to shorten this, but the reason why I'm in West Virginia is just because my kids want to visit their dad, right? And um, I, I don't want my children to travel alone. So I said, can I come along? You know, so he helped me to get a ticket for me to get there. So once, once I get there and once my children are in, safe with their dad, I'm going to ask to see if I can borrow his car, his, his little car and drive. So that's my plan, personal plan. Um, and if there's more people, I guess we have to rent a car and we all have to chip in to rent a car and everybody's involved in that trip. We all can chip in and gas and car rental. Um, and you know, it's really depend, none of us right now are making anything. So we all kind of help each other out. So that's, that's how I see it. And um, we all chip in basically rent a car or a van if we need to. Yeah, that's, a, that's gonna be a great idea if we can arrange it like a field trip and we have a one destination for everybody. And from there we have a, a car, we rent a car, everybody chip in that is gonna take us everywhere we're going and come back at that destination and everybody can go back from there. Yes, absolutely. So that's a plan. I didn't need to be in West Virginia, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to take this opportunity to hopefully meet all the founders, and that's where the idea coming from is to uh, to visit and to see who would like to travel. Uh, some friends will probably driving an hour or two hours to get to a place to meet. So it's it's kind of like you ha we still have some time to plan, but. Uh, but I've already got my ticket to fly there, whether or not um, everyone meet or not, you know, I, I will still be in West Virginia, Martinburg, West Virginia. And if no one do, I still go and visit friends. <laughs> That's just me, Julie. I just do it. I, la I let nothing stopping me. So um, yeah, thank you, Marcian, for asking that question. Uh, let's plan. Uh, Bridget, Kamsi, if you could please unmute your mic. Yeah. Hi, hi everyone. Julie, I'm excited that you're coming to West Virginia because, um, like I said previously, I live like about 45 minutes away from West Virginia and I'm going to be there. I'm actually going to be there that we, the days that you're here. So I have a, a, a cousin that lives like, I think, 15 minutes from where you say you're going to be. So I'm going to be with, there with her. We've already arranged that. So I guess what I'm planning on doing is reach out to all the other um, founders in D.C. and in in the Maryland area to see how we can coordinate while you're here. So if yeah. we can kind of coordinate something and then we can get together. That would be so fantastic. Wouldn't that be awesome? Thank you, Bridget, yes. for doing that. You're welcome. Um, yes, uh, Charles O'Song is, uh, he knows about that and then he's gonna do that as well. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited um, you okay. know, to do it. So yes, yes, I love it. Like I said, uh, when I want to do something, no one can stop me. So let's do it together. <laughs> so I don't okay. have to do this alone. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's about it for August. And hopefully by the time that we travel to West Virginia, uh, you know, or Washington, D.C. or Maryland, we all got some apples in our pocket, right? That's, that's, that would be great. That would be awesome. So we get to hug each other and we get to congratulate each other. So yeah, that's that's that for us. Milo, do you see anyone that like to see or anyone that would like to speak? I know there's a friend in other country, you know, Pooja, for example, you know, she's in India and there's other friends in India. If you can start get started by the, you know, do a, a, a road trip or do a, a, a road show, um, why not? Do it in your local area. And if you're not in the states that I mentioned, 
And if you want to do it, reach out and just say, hey, guys, let's meet. You know, be, be the leader in your local area. And when I say the leader, I don't mean that, oh, this is my state and I'm going to take charge. It's not. If you want to take charge, take charge. But, you know, other people can take charge, too. It's remember all in on passive. We are the same. Right. So um, and then here in California, Sherry and I had started about two months now. We meet every Friday, um, you know, for coffee. And then last week we got Terry Thompson and her mom. And then the other week we have Bill, we have John who met with me. We are going to put our feet down and say, we're gonna start having presentation in person, which Terry John, uh, Thompson has already started it. And then Sherry had started at her group in Rancho Cucamonga. And it took us, what, Sherry, two hours from where we are to uh, uh, Rancho Cucamonga to, to hold a meeting. I did a live there and Sherry, Sherry drove me that day. And you know, if you, if you have a chance, have the ability to it, I encourage you to get together, have meeting. Anyway, Milo, I talk too much. I'm gonna pause. Uh, I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> hey, Julie, you're doing good. There's no, one, no hands up that I see, but uh, you know, I was just thinking, you know, when, when I was talking about the presenter series and. And it's so cool, like I said, to watch people evolve. Judy Miller, from her first video to the last, you guys should watch it because she is an incredible presenter at this point, you know. And, and like we said all along, it's about consistency. It's about uh, doing it over and over. And uh, when you do that, you get just get more comfortable with it. And I would lo love to hear from some of the presenters, but I want to bring up another point that... Uh, uh, you know, I was thinking, uh, you know, we have these presenters now that know, you know, they can do presentations. One other thing you don't want to let go is a podcast. Now, podcasters are looking for people to talk to them. Okay. They podcast, it's pretty easy to get on a podcast. And once you get on that podcast circle, you can work your way on up to some bigger podcasts, you know, by doing that. And just think if you could get on, uh, uh, some of them, Scott White, I think he has millions of followers, you know, what happens if you get on there and you give a presentation and you get, you know, a hundred people or something come up or better yet, you sign the, uh, the podcaster up because he sees the benefit in it. And then he pushes it out to all his people. Well, guess who's getting credit for that? You are the person that brought it to him first. So, uh, sometimes when uh, you think about things like that, you know, we, we kind of let them slip, you know, because we've maybe never done it before. But I encourage you, man, uh, you know, if you know a podcaster, ask them to get on their show. Ask them, say, hey, uh, how about letting me do a presentation on your show, you know, and do the presentation. You never know where it will, will go from there. I am a firm believer that being consistent is the way to go. If you're consistent, you put your stuff out there, people's gonna come up across it, they're gonna find it. And when this thing launches, it's gonna explode because guess what? You cannot buy your way into own passive. You have to come in just like everyone else. You have to come in as a founder. So you have to find a founder to introduce you to it so that you can sign up. And that's a great advantage for us. And I see a hand up, so I don't want to talk no more. Pooja, come on down and talk to us, girl. Hello, Milo, sir. Welcome back. And hello to everyone. Hello, Julie, ma'am. Uh, sir, it's very happy that you're back because the excitement again is back. Yes, uh, Julie, ma'am, always missed you in every show. <laughs> it's seen. And today is Guru Purnima, sir, where we believe like all teachers are uh, are to be prayed. So actually here we uh, observe fast and we take a oath. So everyone, I learned something or the other from everyone, but there are some specific gurus that we maintain. So uh, Julie ma'am, I really owe this, this respect to you and Idrissa, both of you, because I've learned so many things and I've taken life seriously. And I'm enjoying each part of my life. Thank you so much, Julie ma'am, for all these things. And definitely, as you mentioned, uh, we from Jabalpur, even Jay Mukhi is from Jabalpur. We will all plan for a roadshow and we will definitely work on it, ma'am. 
Thank you so much, Pooja. Did you know you are the guru yourself in your own community too? Oh my, you all are gurus for me. <laughs> I appreciate your kind word, but yes, you are. You just haven't realized that, but continue to do what you do. You have a beautiful soul, beautiful personality, and your smile is contagious. So keep Thank going. You. Yes, absolutely. Keep going. So um, a lot of uh, our friends here probably don't know what kind of podcast it is. Who are the podcast? Podcast is basically just like Julie and Milo. We sit and we talk to each other without seeing each other's face and recording. It's kind of like, it's almost like radio, right? We talk and then we share things. So what I like you to do right now, if you could write it down or even if you have phone, this is a tip for you to start reach out to those people, okay? So the people that hold podcast, they need content like everyone else. When they get together, <clears throat> they need to know what to talk about. They need to know what kind to talk about. The, 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 the expert podcaster, like the ones that I love so much, Simon Sinek. I talked too much today. I got like two, three, web, two webinars this morning. So sorry. <clears throat> so if you can write down, or if you if you use Facebook, I just did right now. You go onto the search bar and you put in podcast. Okay, P O D C A S T, and then you tap on the people. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Stop texting me, Curtis. <laughs> okay, I put podcast on the very top, right? as a search on the search bar. And then I pulled up all the people that are doing podcasts, okay? Right, what you wanna do is I'm gonna tap on one of the name right now. I'm gonna tap on Sabrina, okay? I'm tapping on this lady. She is not my friend, but I have two mutual friends, which is Dr. Bill William. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on the message and I'm gonna send her a message, let's say. Um, what message should I send her? Um, Julie, sorry, I, I, I was looking for my pen. Can you please start it back? I'm sorry. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's do that again. Go into your Facebook, okay? Up on the very top, you have that magnet uh, glass right here, right very top. I am using my phone right now, right? Press on that and then Type in podcast, P-O-D-C-A-S-T. Okay, it's gonna pull up something. I want you to look for people. Those are the people that do podcast. Okay, so you can pick anyone on there and send them a message. You send them, you say, hello, my name is this and this. Uh, I have lots of content I can share with you. Let's say, I mean, you could, you probably want to uh, reword it or smitten the word a little bit. And when I have it, I'll, I'll, I'll share with you on Wednesday. I'm going to try to do one, see what. Send them a message because you know you have a lot of content. Okay. First of all, like, let's say Judy Miller, she has what, 10 to 12 of her presentation that she can send it to them. Right. Or, uh, you can go on the Julie and Milo, you go, you know, go on our YouTube channel, grab any of those content, anything that feel resonate with you, that you want to talk about to those podcaster, you can share that with them. And then make sure when you share that, you said, if you want to know more, register here, be in the know. I always do that, be in the know. And then I put my registration link. My registration link isn't a page that has a lot of information. You wanna put your registration where they tap on, they can register themselves right away, okay? And then on the bottom of that, you can say, you can check out our company website on passive.com, okay? Better yet, if you get together, I know I put you on the spot right now, Marty. Better yet, I know he's very busy and he has a page, he has a link that can send all of that information to that podcaster. Marty can send it out here. Marty, I think you have a general uh, link that you can share that with people. If you could please pod, put it on the chat. When you do do that, your information is out there. Your name is out there. Your registration link is out there. You send it to them 
And within two days, you send it back and you said, have you had a chance to look at what I send you? And you can do that not only on Facebook, you can do that on Instagram, anywhere that you have your hand on to get yourself there for free. Don't pay anything. Do that out there, Milo. Yeah, Julie, one other thing is uh, if, you, if you've been on the Julie and Milo show, send that. I mean, my life story or, or founders is a huge thing that will spark interest in them and they can come back and, and then all you got to do is answer. Now, a lot of you might not know. Actually, Julie and Milo show should have a podcast. It's just that I haven't got around to it, but I'm working on it. So one of the best guys that I know with, uh, if you want to know about podcasting, he's got all kinds of information out there is Michael Stewart. Michael Stewart is also a founder, uh, but he has a, he has a show, or he, he's known as the Internet Web Audio Guy. He's huge. He plays with the box top, so he's real busy. But, I mean, he, podcasting is a big thing with him. Now, in 2018, all cars, all cars had to be able to, anything 2018 or newer has to have the ability to get a podcast. So you're able to receive a podcast. You can play it right on your car. So it's almost like talk radio. You can start your own podcast. You know, it's a good thing to start your own podcast. You could tell people what you're doing, how you're doing it, and you could do that, you know. But if you can get on someone else's, it's better, you know, or it's, it's good because you're getting all this new people that, you know, are a built-in audience for you. And uh, they love, podcasters love to get people on, especially if you have an interesting story. You know, if you have an interesting story and you've told your story and you've got something where you can just send it out and let them look at it or whatever, they like that kind of stuff because, uh, you know, they get you on and uh, it, it, it increases, it increases uh, viewership for them because people who might know a Judy Miller will go and watch Judy Miller. Well, at the same time, they get to hear this podcaster that's trying to build his his name and stuff. So it's a good, it's a win-win for everyone. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think, Milo, you've been working with Mike lately. Uh, he's helping us with our website, and then he's also helping us with the podcast that you're planning to do, so you we're planning to, to release. So and some of the music that Milo is, um, not some, all of the music on the Daily Inspiration is from Mike Stewart. So yeah, um, it's great. So hopefully that uh, help um, us sharing our messages out there. Yeah, I got to go see him uh, last night, or night four last. I, I wasn't even planning on being in town. I was planning on being in Florida or whatever, but uh, they were playing at the city winery. I don't know if any of you know the box tops, but they were back when the Beatles were around. Uh, so they had a song, a big song called The Letter. And they had a lot of them wait that charted pretty high. But it was an incredible show. And Mike, I think it put a little extra in it. I was there that night and along with, uh, you know, I was sitting across the table from the guy who wrote uh, uh, Born, not Born in the USA. Um, it was at Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge Boys song, the big hit they had, My Baby is American Made. And he also wrote Little Rock, you know, so I was there with him. And but it, it might just tore the piano up in the organ, you know, and I said, I said, holy crap. I said, I didn't I knew you could play good, but I didn't know you were that good. But it was fun to watch him, you know, and he's not really he's kind of been hesitant on uh, on passive. But I know when that first nickel drop, he's going to be one of those guys that will, he'll probably bring on a lot of people just because of who all he knows, you know, in the music industry and stuff. And in the, he's been in the, he's been speaking around the world. If you uh, over in, I forget the name of it, the big show or the big, I think it was an internet marketing thing. He spoke for years on that, that tour, you know, so, uh, but anyway, it's fun uh, watching that and learning from him, you know, Fantastic, Milo. Anyone like to say something? We, Milo and I have been talking for almost an hour. I need to not talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we need to, I'll tell you what, let's, Judy, Julie, let, let's just call on, so now I'm going to call on Judy Miller. Judy, why don't you uh, unmute and come on and, and tell us about how it was when you first come on the show 
and how nervous you was and how like at the end you were just knocking it out of the park. Tell us about that. Oh, I thought you could hear my knees knocking the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so afraid. And and the last time, um, oh, I was so relaxed. Yeah, I, I was. It was it was quite simple. I loved it. And I'm waiting to do the next four. Yeah, I'm excited. I am way excited. And and I really want to learn how to be able to um, show the slides myself because I do not know how to do that so that I can present and not bother you guys because I don't I don't know how to show them myself on. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Paul, Polly was doing it, but it didn't work for her last time. She couldn't get to show them. I don't know yeah. why it wouldn't work. Yeah, it didn't we, work need to, we need to. Maybe we can make up a video or something, Julie. I mean, you're the expert. I can do at that. It. I can do I've that. learned to do it, but uh, Julie's really the expert at it. And because uh, once you have the slides and stuff, it's just a matter of uh, figuring out which buttons to share. And once you can share, then you can go, you know, and uh, it does make it a lot easier, you know. So uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, I could, oh, it, I could put a video together because I've seen some of the recording and the slide was was sharing like half slides instead of it. So yeah, I'll work on that and I'll, share, I'll send it out, um, Judy. And when, when you do it, Julie, um, for the people seeing it, the, the words are big and then right. some people are showing it, the words are real tiny. Right, right, right. I, I've seen the recording. That's why uh, I, I clicked through some of the recording that our presenter present. Um, it was small and it was very hard to 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 see and it was kind of like right. half, half half instead of the whole slide so yes i will do a video today but they're they're fun to do and it's interesting and also even every time i read them or do them um i even learn more just because i'm reading it myself and learning more just because i'm presenting it and learning it i love it and, i enjoy doing it. and that was the plan you know repetition and being consistent and doing the same thing and you hear others do it, you do learn more, you retain more. And, uh, and it makes you feel more comfortable when you're out talking uh, to other people. It's true. As a little teeny example, and it's not on passive, but I have a granddaughter who's 15. The first time she went up on stage with her class to, I think she was singing a song, um, they had a costume that was made out of a big brown paper bag they used to put groceries in. Well, she left her head in the paper bag and she sang, but her head was in the paper bag and now she's 15 and that girl, can she'll do anything with her class and whatever. And she plays volleyball and she's the number one setter in Oregon and she's 15. And, and every once in a while, I go, yeah, that's the girl with her head in the paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> it She's is. Come along, baby. <laughs> it is true. And I mean, repetition will do that for, you know, anyone going on stage speaking. Uh, I never publicly spoke to big crowds uh, because I never wanted to be a preacher. I always thought if, I, if, if my dad could get me on stage with a full crowd, I, he was going to make me a preacher, you know, and I did not want to be a preacher. So I just never did it. And so I've just come out recently, you know, since me and Julie started doing this and, uh, and talking, and now I'm very comfortable with it, you know, uh, almost too comfortable sometimes. So. Yeah. Um, I, I remember one time I stepped out. Um, it was back in my college year. And, uh, and I step out, you know, if you know myself already, I let nothing stop, right? If I have a thinking about me wanting to do something, I step out and I did it. And uh, this is a funny part. Everybody's going to remember this, but I start singing a song and in halfway through the verse, I'm like, oh my God, that's the wrong song. I literally said that. I, I meant to sing a different song, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, and I have made a fool of myself so many times and I just laugh it off. You know, I just laugh it off. So please, I know a lot of you cannot post on YouTube or post on Facebook or do this because you are afraid to make mistake. Don't be afraid to make mistake. Don't. At the end of the day, it worse is it close your account. 
and you just open a new one, right? <laughs> just like Marty did <laughs> has hundreds of, 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 you know, YouTube accounts. So the best way is just do it. Don't, don't look afraid. Don't put be you afraid. in jail. Hey, Julie. What's that? <laughs> or put you in jail. <laughs> yeah, they put me in jail, right? And then I said the word, uh, you know, light bulb moment, light bulb movement. And then now this morning I type on passive moment. I'm like, is it on passive moment or on passive movement? You know, so I make mistake all the time and I just laugh it off. <laughs> Jay, love to hear from you. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, Julie, ma'am. Hello. Uh, welcome, sir. Milo, sir. Hello, Yuzma. Am I audible? Am I audible? Uh, I can hear Hello? you. Hello? I can hear you, Jay. Hey, Jay. I can hear you. Yeah, we can okay. hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Okay, okay. Sir, actually, uh, today's uh, Guru Purnima in India, as uh, uh, Puja already said, so I have actually learned a lot from you all. Marty, sir, Curtis, Davis, sir, Julie, ma'am, Milo, sir, everyone. I have learned, learned a lot, actually. Uh, from the uh, child, like schooling, I, I was little shy type of student. After that, when I go to the engineering college, there were several dragging or all these things has come. I've become a little bit smarter, but I am not a good speaker anyway. I've never uh, speak in any public place. But on passive, through just doing this all uh, uh, presentation, I I get confident that I will do this type of thing easily. After doing that, uh, the first day, first four presentation, after that, my confidence is level is uh, increases day by day. And right now, as you, uh, Zuli ma'am and Milo sir, as I think you you know, and Puja is already know that I used to do. Uh, Facebook live on regular basis. Daily I used to do them. Okay, these all things which, uh, which I got just through on passive and as per the, your gui guidance actually. Okay, this much I want to say for the uh, improvement which I feel and I uh, at the same time I uh, try to or whatever uh, friend circle or the person who are engaged with me any type of help or any questions if they have regarding on passive and anything, I used to give the answer. And uh, like uh, Puja said, yes, we are uh, planning for the road show in Jabalpur. And we both take the initiative regarding this and make a plan when we will schedule that. Okay. Thank and you. Thank you. Jay. Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Jay. Congratulations. Uh, yes, yeah. I, see you do, I see you do live now right in regular basis. So okay, one 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 more thing, ma'am. Milo sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Am I audible? Uh, Milo sir, when you will going to uh, give the other eight uh, presentation, uh, actually through that uh, YouTube live. I am actually eagerly waiting for the last eight presentation <laughs> hello yes i am, <laughs> I, am behind, <laughs> I put some of them out i i did some the other day uh and i think you're coming up i did see yours yeah. on there along with uh you know i got wednesdays and uh i got a ton of kurtz to put up so oh, yeah. uh i i should get it uh before wednesday because i'm leaving again on thursday for florida so uh, hopefully I have all all of it done Wednesday. You know, if Julie cracks the whip enough, you know, I'll get her done. You know. <laughs> yes, Jay. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's yeah, work. because we have to. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, one more thing, uh, ma'am. I have already prepared one minute video, which uh, I want to send it to uh, Bill Musser. Actually, I have sent it in the messenger. I think I want to know the email ID of. Bill sir, as uh, in the live chat, uh, Marty sir, yesterday, I think. I sent it to the He also, was Jay. talking that, oh, sorry, sorry, in the uh, Chris Johnson, sir, live chat yesterday. Uh, 
somebody has said that uh, to give a one minute live chat uh, live video which uh, as sir maybe uh, want to see that hello yes yes jay we can hear am you. i able to conclude my my discussion okay. yes go right ahead i just want to say one one minute video we have to prepare those who are interested they can send to bilma sir absolutely jay i've got it and i've also am i sent... yeah yeah okay okay thank you thank you thank you jay um i know th there's a delay there but anyway jay i've already sent you uh bill must email so if you have it you can send directly to bill must okay 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 awesome all right um bill bland i see that you try to wave Thank your you. hand before karina so bill bland please unmute your mic and uh and then after bill bland karina yes. and I, I I have a, a former athlete. I was a coach in high school, and I have a former athlete that uh, has <clears throat> been using a podcast, and uh, uh, I've listened to it, but I've never participated in it. But is it possible for me to ask him to, to participate and show a video? Is that what you're talking about when you when you? It's it's this person. Is this podcaster a founder of On Passive? No, he's not on all passive. He's he has a, a consulting business with another person. He's a pretty sharp individual, and uh, he he advised me don't put any more into into uh, something like <laughs> on passive because he said uh, you know most of those are are, are not uh, not authentic. So I've got to convince him that uh, this is this is something that's real. What I would do, Bill, is is you have that personal relationship with him. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I would I would start with uh, you know uh, getting uh, getting some of the best videos that are out there. You know whether it's a presentation, if you want to send him a presentation, there's a ton of them on Julian Milo. But I can you use know, some of those to send to him? Absolutely. You okay. want? To, yeah, you want to do that? Cedric does a great job. Judy Miller does a great job. Polly, myself, Kurt does a great job. A guy named Wayne Dockery does a great job. Julie does a great job. You know, so there's all kinds of them that you can use. You pick whichever one you feel will relate. Now, Fantastic. You know what I really like? I like Bill Williams and people like uh, uh, the uh, dentist. Uh, I can't yep. think of his name right now. That was on one of your uh, one of your videos. Sure, you can. So that that lends credibility to you, that this is something real. These are professional people. Absolutely. Or, you know, even Dr. Kanar Shaw, that was a great one. Where that's, people, that's the one, yeah. Bill Williams and Kanar Shaw was on it, you know, or Michael Williams, you know, or, or some of these guys, yeah, are great. Marty DeGarmo, you know, uh, Red Renford, all those guys have good movies. Jeffrey Morlock. So you can kind of figure out what is he actually going. Kurt just did one the other night that was about travel league ball that he might be interested in if he's a coach, you know, and it says, hey, how how can you make the travel league ball? How is on passive going to help it? Well, it goes through all the things, you know. Hey, the kids don't have to pay for their bats no more. People don't have to pay for motel rooms, gas. It's there. All this stuff can be provided by just one spot, you know, through on passive and let it build his team. So whatever his team is or whatever. And if you hit the right chord with someone like that, they can bring thousands on for you. And the truth is, once it launches, a lot of these people that are skeptics are going to come back around. And as long as you've told them and you and you keep mentioning it to them and maybe send them a thing here or there, you know, you, you'll win them over because they will come in. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll come in. And if oh, they yeah. come in under you, remember, that's a whole that's a whole lot of people coming in because he's actually an advertising machine. I hope so because uh, I, I have a lot of ex athletes that are, are really close with him and and myself and so on and he could really do me a lot of good if I could convince him. Well, and like I said, if you if you go to that uh, fundraiser one, uh, it was on uh, Hey Hey the other night. Kurt did a Kurt did a, a video that was he did an awesome job on it, but it it told about because a lot of these athletes will they will be coaching teams. 
maybe even rocket football or, or you know, whatever kind of uh, volleyball, any kind of game that there is out there, even high school sports. Can you imagine if, if you got a high school sports and you you have a person that puts them in, you know, into all passive at $250 or whatever, buys them a reseller place. Now, all of a sudden, their sport can start supporting the football team through that. But it doesn't only support once. The key here is you get yeah, a continual fundraiser. <laughs> you're exactly right. So if you give $250, to a sports team, you give $250. They get $250. They spend $250 pretty quick. But if you buy them a spot at $250, the next week or two weeks later, they're getting checks and they start getting checks and checks. And pretty soon it's more than $250 a week. It's more than $250 a day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It grows and it grows and it continues to grow and, and it never quits. So that high school football team, now is sponsored for the rest of their life. And you could you could even call it, hey, this is the Bill Bland Foundation or something like that, you know, whatever you want to do. But it would it would grow that over and over. Hey, thank you very much. I'm gonna this is a good idea. I'll we'll get okay. to get in touch with Jim. All right. <laughs> And, um, you know, I don't know if you remember one time Marty said it in his life, he said that there's time when he does advertising uh, out there continuously advertising on what he does on, on Passive Nation. But some of the people doesn't don't join him until eight months later. So remember, everything that you do today, you won't get the results today. But imagine all the people that you share on Passive with today, when they see the marketing come out. When Ash, when Ash start doing the massive marketing, they're going to look back. They're going to say, oh, so-and-so, Bill did share this with me. They're going to look back and they're going to look for you. So don't get discouraged. Remember, when Ash said, what is Mr. Ash Mufara said? He said, when on passive launch, no one can get through in on passive unless they go through one of the founder. So don't discourage yourself. Keep going, okay? Even if you're doing your best and... And for many, many years and months that you they're not joining you, they're gonna join you. All right. Okay, um, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Marty, I mean, yes, Marty, I know Karina lends us the hands, but I know Marty has something important to say on what I just spoke. So um, Karina, if you would uh, let Marty speak first. Yeah. Uh, well, what I wanted to say is, I mean, Milo said it, Julie said it, a lot of people say it. Um, what you do today, all you do, all you're really doing is plant the seed. I mean, very rarely do you tell somebody about the business like, oh my God, where do I sign up at? I mean, that just doesn't happen that often. I did it because I knew what I was, I knew what I knew what this had and I knew what I was missing. But some people don't know that when they first see it. Plant the seed. When you plant the seed, even with uh, this guy that Bill Bland's talking about, plant it. No matter what he says, don't worry about what people say. People don't mean anything they say most of the time. Plan it, and when this thing comes out and they start seeing it on TV and somebody sees it on a commercial, it goes on a tech thing where they're interviewing Ash Mufara. It's going to register in millions and millions of people that said, I'm not interested, and they're going to go, wait a minute. I think I know who that, I know who told me about that. And they're going to get back to you, and boom, they're in. I mean, don't worry about now. It's not always now. David Bacow from Papua New Guinea took six months to get in. And now he's got like 7,000 people on his team. It didn't happen then. I didn't stop with David. I kept going. I fed him something every week, a little bit, just a nibble, not a whole dinner, just a nibble. I didn't choke him. I just let him know I was there. And the right day, at the right time, David said, I'm going to really look at this. And boom, he said, how many people are in Papua New Guinea? I said, how fast can you sign that? 10 minutes. I said, one. And there's a lot more. And it's because of him, what he did. But don't, and consistency, I think Milo's probably said this a thousand times, be consistent. The, the, the great thing about being a leader do you know who has control over whether you're a leader or not? You do. 
has nothing to do with me, Milo, Julie. Julie's a bulldog, a pretty one, okay, Julie? I'm not putting you down. But if there's something to do or something needed, she jumps in head first and asks why later. That's what some people do. But some people do it and they go, oh my gosh, I'm going to make a mistake. Julie doesn't want to make a mistake, but she doesn't let her stop her. You know how many mistakes I make? You guys hear me on the live. I have half the time I don't even know what the frick I'm talking about. Uh, Chris Johnson's a babbling freaking monkey, right? But people follow him and they know his heart. They know he means well. He, he believes in what he's saying. Believe in what you're saying and people will follow you. And if you do it now, like uh, Judy Miller doing them and a lot of people here doing these little lives and they go, well, it really doesn't matter. Bull donkey. Whatever you do now matters more in six months than it does right now. You do it, people are going to come back and they're going to be looking for people they recognize. I'm not just getting in this. I got to find Milo. I got to find Bill Bland. I got to find uh, Francis or Karina. I'm not telling you this because I don't know. I know. I've done this a long, long time. And how things work are you plant a seed and you keep walking. Don't try to talk anybody into anything. That's annoying, and they won't do it just because they're going to do the opposite of what you say. You plant a seed and act like you don't care. You can water it, plant it, and walk on. Plant it and walk on, because I'm telling you, when this thing launches and everybody in the world hears about it, not from you, but from some newscaster on TV, they're going to come back to you and go, wait a minute, is that what you told me about? Yeah, I want to be a founder. It's right, you can't be a founder but you can be a reseller. It's just the way it is. It's going to happen. And if you wait and say, I'm going to wait the company build for me, that's okay. But I would still plant seeds. I would still go around like Johnny Appleseed and plant it, plant it, plant it. We do it all the time. I am constantly telling people or helping other people actually build their business. Just tell them what's up. And I've had more people tell me when I act like I don't care if they get in, get in than somebody if I, as Julie would say, throw up on them. I've done that in the past. It's not good. You don't feel good about it and they definitely don't like it. Give a little bit. If, let, them set, let them talk. If, you, if it looks like they're not going the right way, stop. Oh, this may not be for you. Soon as you take it away, they'll grab for it. Almost everybody does. But remember, you're only planting the seed. You're not, you're not selling the home today. You're just walking them through it. You're giving them a, a tour of the home. And then walk away. They, they let them look at it and think about it for a while. That's what everybody here is saying. And all of you that did the Julie and Milo and you think, oh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. You do it once and you'll want to do it the next time. And the next time you do it, you do it again. Look at um, Kurt, um, Flowers. He, he does a great job now. He's, he knows it like the back of his hand. People say, oh, Mike, Mike Ellis is really good at it. He sucked when I first heard him. But he's bullheaded and never, ever quit. He just kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. Now it's in his DNA. You ask Mike, hey, Mike, give me the presentation. He could do it standing on his head. He knows it that well. But everybody could be that way. That's not special. He just did it and kept doing it. And that goes back to what Milo always says a thousand times. Be consistent. Just do it every day or when you feel comfortable. Plant the seed, move on. Plant the seed, move on. If you do it now, tomorrow you're going to be one happy camper. Forget what the company's doing. They're going to make you wealthy anyway. But if you want to get there quicker, plant a seed today. That's all you got to do. Just plant it. Don't look for anything to come out of it. Everybody wants this big oak tree in one day. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way for the gurus. It's not going to work that way for you. I'm telling you. Just plant the seed, get out there. And I went over my three minutes and I was holding his hand so he didn't clap. But that's all I got. <laughs> uh, Marty, that was awesome. That was awesome. Thank, thank I you, Marty. What, thank you. I loved what you said. And, you know, it is about being consistent. And what we have to really learn to do, like you were saying, is we are only presenting an opportunity. Whether they come in or not, that's up to them. We present the opportunity, and when you get that in your mind, it, it takes away whether people say, no, you're not disappointed because 
you're disappointed in them because they just let something go that was big, but it it shouldn't affect you at all. I mean, you're just like, hey, you know what? I'm still going to make my money, you know? So uh, I loved what you said there, Marty. All right. I think we got a hand up. Uh, uh, oh, Corina, come on down, Corina, and talk to us. Thanks, Milo. Marty, well said. I agree 100%. I just wanted to come on real quick. Say, Julie, I wish I could be there with you on the 8th to the 10th so badly, <laughs> but I can't be. Um, I wanted to ask as Jay about my presentation. I know you're a busy man, Milo. I know you are. I wanted to give it to a couple of people. So that's all I was going to ask about uh, was my presentation because I'm excited to get it. Thank okay. you, Milo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, will, uh, I will get yours and Jay's out, uh, you know. Thank, no, thanks so much, dear. Just, I I've, appreciate it. I've been struggling with my computer and with a uh, different thing. So uh, no worries. I've kind of got it back online now. So uh, I'm glad I'm, you're back. As long as I can stay awake, thanks. I'll get it done for you guys. All right. <laughs> Thank you Sorry, so bye. much. All right. Bye, guys. Okay. So let me let me say this really quick. Jay presentation is already out there. He has four presentation out there, Karina, um, in Hindi. And uh, I'm looking at my phone right now. He has um, on passive presentation, which is the general one. And then he has how on passive can help with country music, how on passive can help with the MLMer, and then how on passive would help with church. So four already out and there's more coming out. All right. And you can go to the, to the, um, when you go to julianmilo.com, scroll all the way down to the very bottom and see the presenter. And when you click on that, it will take you to the YouTube. And that's where you can find the playlist of everyone that's already presented. It's on there. Carlos, would like to hear from you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Marty. That was uh, pretty inspiring. And, um, and it teaches us all how to be better presenters, better people, better for everybody, right? So thank you so much. I just wanted to give a shout out to you, Julie and Milo. Thank you so much. I just wanted to bring up some, uh, some good facts about uh, how you guys are talking about the presenting. And uh, when you just start off once and you practice and you practice, you start feeling more comfortable with it. And then when you start doing it out to uh, to everybody, it just gets uh, becomes a norm. And so I've been learning that too as I go, and it's I'm just getting more comfortable with it. And I've noticed that that, that it's becoming more easier for me. So I just want to let everybody know that it is it comes in time. And then just sponsoring yourself and sponsoring on passive is something that, that I hold very deeply inside. And I never was the type of guy that would go out and present at all. I would not even go out and stand up to talk, just not even in school, right? Um, so where I'm at right now, it just makes me want to just jump out and do it. And I give Julie and Milo the the praise because they, they opened me up to do something like that. So I just wanted to share that as well. So thank all of you and uh, thank you, Julie and Milo. And I'm looking forward to get out there more. Um, I was wanting to, I actually signed up somebody here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, Julie was talking about how we want to present to the people like on a certain day, just for fun, uh, just have like a live on Facebook or anywhere else. So I was thinking about getting that going over here in Albuquerque. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's going to be on a Friday or a Saturday, but uh, just times where we're not so busy, but I was looking to do that too, so. Awesome, Carlos, congratulations. And uh, I'm glad that you are doing it. Uh, your presentation last week was wonderful. Thank you. Did you. Very well, so keep going. Thank you, Carlos. Sherry, you away. Sherry. Yes, I thought I'd just pop on here and say, um, have an amazing time on your show. You guys cracked me up in the beginning. And um, Carlos, wow, that's amazing to watch you just come out of your where you were before to come to now you're like wanting to present at different places that's phenomenal and I'm with you like I never was uh, well I did present a couple of times on the other uh, uh or not the other but a, a networking thing that I do but not you know <laughs> to come out of my comfort zone I kind of lost a lot of my comfort zone with having the back surgeries and having cane but uh 
Yeah, this has been a godsend, no doubt. And um, definitely we need to, I'm, my hat goes off to you, Carlos, you will do an, an amazing job. So it's like I tell people, it's about getting the word out. Uh, we have to really put ourselves, like not think of it as putting ourselves in uncomfortable uh, situations, which, you know, um, even still here just doing this, you know, I get, I don't know what I'm going to say. It just kind of flows out. And it's because we need to just share this word with so many people. So don't look at it as, like I always say, don't look at it as what, you know, you just need to look at it as more of what we have in our hands, how it could help somebody. And like, uh, like I do live like all the time now on Facebook, but I don't really get any feedback, but it's like you say, it's, it's, we're planting the seeds and they will come. And, and that's how it's always been with anything that you do. You just have to plant the seeds and that's where the little mustard seed comes into action. Um, so, uh, I, and another thing I have to share is definitely, uh, I'm excited for Pojo, if I'm saying her name correctly, and Jay to get it out there in India. I have somebody in India I need to get in contact with her because I'm not really sure, like, from what part of India to the other part. So I've got to figure that part out. And um, just get out there, folks, and share this information. Uh, if you're too scared, that's okay. Uh but shared at least with your family and friends. If they don't get in, that's okay. You've shared it. You've done your work. They'll come back to you, like Marty said. So uh, I'm excited for your road trip, Julie. Can't wait to see how many people are you're going to have come. I will be looking to see who I know that's out that way on my team or my team's team or just family or friends or anything like that. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's get more people together. Show Ash that this is really spreading. He's going to he loves that kind of thing. Uh, he loves the outdoors. Um especially because he's probably always inside most of the time. The only time he gets out is to share his, his love and the food with other people who don't, are not as uh, well off as with some of us are. So that's all I have for my three minutes. Go out and get them, folks. We love on passive. We love you all. Thanks for everybody. That everything everybody's doing for everybody. Thank you. God bless. Awesome, Jerry. Awesome, Jerry. I enjoy watching you and Julie, uh, you know, on your shows and stuff. You guys are doing an incredible job. Uh, and just keep keep doing it, man. Keep doing it. And, and Carlos, uh, I seen you. Yours the other night was wonderful. And and I encourage you just to keep doing it. And the thing that's really cool, and most anyone that knows that have did the presentation series, is once you do that first one, it's like 85 or 90 percent of all the other ones. You just have to learn just a little bit more and you repeat. And when you repeat the consistency of it, you get to know it better and better and better. And it does that every time. You know, it, we got 12 out now. I need to get some more. Uh, I know uh, there's people that's wanting more. You know, I, I want to do one on teachers. I want to do one on dance studios and some different things, you know, so. Those are coming up. I just uh, haven't got around to them, but I will. All right, let's see who else we got. We got Jay. Jay, come on down. Jay, you want to unmute yourself? Hello, 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 sir. Uh, I just want to just I want to ask one question. Actually, I am sharing many things in Facebook. And after some time, they don't allow me. Actually, I have joined many groups other than phase, uh, on passive, other than on passive. Like I have joined the churches and MLM groups, so many groups, like the 40 plus. Okay, when I used to share everywhere, and the first day they allow, after one week, they don't allow me to share. Uh, is there any type of uh, solution to get over the over that? So, well, uh, yeah. I can, you, Marty, sir, if Marty, sir, knows, then anyone can give me the answer, then that will be good for me. Um, okay. So, Jay, I noticed that there's I a used to share so many things, so many things in Facebook and Messenger also. But uh, like uh, yesterday, I, I am facing a problem regarding uh, in the Messenger. My message is not going. So, I again uh, upgrade my Messenger. After that, again, the restarted. But Facebook, uh, they allow me only five uh, messages to share. 
I don't know why they are doing this. Marty, do you have the answer? Hello, ma'am. Yes, Jay. Jay, one thing: if you're if you're in group, yeah. you sign the thing saying you wouldn't spam. So if you're just putting out and putting out information, they don't like that at all. What you need to go is go into a group, you become friends with them, you talk about whatever they're talking about, you like things that they like, and maybe put a, a put one of your things in there, you know, maybe comment or something and do it once a week or something. But if you're pounding them four and five times a day, you will get blocked. Most groups don't like that. Am yeah. I right, Marty? Yeah. There's a problem I'm facing. Yeah. Also, uh, also, uh, Jay, uh, Jay, don't use, don't use yeah. link, don't use links. No, not I'm not. And uh, now I'm not using that. Without link, also they are not allowing me. Okay, so like I use that, hashtag that, on passive. Hashtag on. Yeah, hashtag okay, on but, passive. I used to use that. But some of the groups, like Milo said, if you post too much, they'll they'll stop you from posting. You got to be very careful. I, I belong, yeah. I don't anymore, but I belong to 2000 groups. And I used to, I used to yeah. go to so many every day and never do the same one twice. That's why I belong to so many groups at one time. But remember groups also, you're fishing in a pond where everybody's trying to sell the same, sell their thing. So they're really there trying to sell what they have while you're there trying to sell what you have. Uh, they don't work very well. I mean, you have to do a lot of fishing before you catch a fish. What I would do is on your timeline or on a regular timeline, put an image out there that with bullet points on it, no advertising, no this, no that, 100% automated. If you're interested, contact me. That's the best way to do it on Facebook. If you throw your link out there or you throw a bunch of ads out there, especially in these groups, Everybody's trying to get you to look at their thing. It's it's almost impossible. Uh, I mean, people do it obviously, but it uh, it doesn't really work that well. I would just do a post, have them come to you. Some bullet points, not a lot, just a little bit. A lot of most people don't want to advertise. Most people like automated. So if you can put those things in a in a in a post, they'll come to you and say, "Well, oh, I want to know more." So. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, one more question, sir. Milo, sir, and Dilly, ma'am. Actually, is there is there any future plan after this uh, presentation will be over? Actually, I I want to uh, take participate in any other type of event if you and Julie, ma'am, is try organizing any type of other than presentation. We do. We got we Hello? got things. We're always thinking of things and thinking of things in advance. But uh, you know, we won't release them till certain time that frames come up and stuff. Uh, but okay. we will we will be doing other things. Uh, you know, I know that uh, one thing that we will be doing is uh, we will be revisiting the founders that uh, originally did the uh, founders uh, thing with us. You know, and and once on passive starts we want to travel around and do interviews with those people and and tell the rest of the story like paul harvey said and now here's the rest of the story and now you know the rest of the story what happened to these guys when they come in they told us about what they were going to do with on passive and now what happened to on passive and what are they doing so that's going to be that's going to be to me that's uh that's one of that'll be one of the biggest things we also plan on having, you know, like a millionaire club. Who hits the millionaire first? You know, we have millionaire founders and stuff like that. So yeah, there's a lot of things that. Uh, uh, Jay, Jay had some okay. delays. So okay, ma'am. Now my thought, my my last last answer actually, I want to just, uh, Seri Mama says yes, he want to visit India. Okay. I am just uh, uh, giving my mobile number over here, okay. And we and Pooja will make all those type of arrangement wherever she want. We will actually guide the actual the good the tourist place of India, and then 
yeah whatever wherever he wants actually uh, so he can visit okay no problem in that thank you ma'am all right thank you jai i am sharing my mobile number okay thank you jai all right so um my friend just sent me a screenshot of this 794000 founding members are in on passive so i need to get up for a little bit congratulations for all of us um i need to get up a little bit so i like marty and milo can you both talk back and forth we have about 6000 more people to make to 800000 so can you please both talk about it what do you think when is it going to hit and what's going to happen i mean your or your own opinion so marty and milo please have that conversation well my prediction would be that 800000 will hit on tuesday marty what's going to happen on tuesday Marty I was calculated on my head how one it would be. Uh yeah, I think Tuesday, yep. Okay. Tuesday mo Tuesday morning. So uh what Marty Marty let's talk about that uh like the soft launch. I know we don't like to you know put dates and stuff like that and we're not going to do that but uh you know cuz we don't know. But uh, I do think that a lot of us feel that uh, the hard launch will probably hit at 1 million founders. Okay, so 1 million founders is only 200,000 away. What do you think? You think 1 million is that magic number? Uh, hold on a minute. I don't know if I'm not. Okay, I'm on music. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I do. I think it. I think it is one million. And if you do the math, and it, we hit about twenty four hundred a day, divided by two hundred thousand, divided by twenty four hundred, that'll give you how many days away it would take us to get there. But I also think once once soft launch is mentioned, it won't be twenty four hundred a day. I think it could go up to 3,000 a day or 3,500 a day or so. Uh, yeah, I think it, whenever that's mentioned, I think we'll increase the amount of people that are joining. And we're, we've got a pretty good amount of number now. But yeah, I, I think the number will be a million. Now, if they launch in a million, I don't know. I mean, there might be a time where they shut off the founder thing and we bring no one in and there's nothing going on just preparation for start uh if we hit the number before we get to the start date the start time so i, I don't know but i know uh he said he has a number and one time he did say well what if we get to a million so doing the ask code uh code talk it might be a million yeah i would think so yeah, I, I mean, I, I think that too, you know, and I, I think that, you know, the numbers are going to go up substantially when they kick in AI and when they kick in, uh, you know, uh, that money for advertising and stuff like that. So I honestly think, you know, that, that if it's a million, he could probably hit it as quick as he wanted to whenever he wanted to launch, you know, if he wanted to launch. That's my. Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if uh, we didn't bring in. Two million customers a week. Right. Once it once starts. Yeah, once it gets going. And I and I'm not sure it would take a lot of advertising for that to happen. I think there's gonna be a viral effect. I think all the seeds that everybody threw all over the planet, it's gonna take six months to gather all them in because they're coming. And then you're gonna have a lot of people that are we have marketers that I know. I know personally that uh, are in, but they're not doing anything. They right. got in, they brought their leaders in, they're all lined up. And the second there's money to be made, they're going to bring all their people in. And that could be hundreds of thousands of people, really. 
and I don't think it's just the ones I know. I mean, I think there's hundreds. I think there's thousands. And uh, I think there's I think there's leaders out there that are coming in and don't know it yet. So I talked to big hitter, big, big, and they said if they do the uh, if they're doing the advertising, I'll be in. I don't need to get in now. I've heard that a lot. So it's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Absolutely. I, I I'm with you, Marty. I believe that uh, you know the thing about it is 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 once that first nickel drops, we're gonna see everybody and their brother coming in. And and like you said, it some of them are gonna be big people. You know, I mean, there's there's guys out there that all they have to do is send out an email and they can bring a hundred thousand people in tomorrow. You know, and I know a lot of them, you know, uh, but uh, you know, and that's why I say, you know, just be consistent, keep keep telling because you don't know that the guy that that doesn't you think doesn't know anyone he might know a uh you know some big hitter or you know two or three down the line they know that big hitter well guess what if it's in your line and they bring them in you're going to be happy yeah no doubt i i know like everybody here if you brought in one or two people during a dream and a hope that's where we are right now for most people. Uh, and you brought in three or four. If it's running, you could get 10 times that. Because if you could do it now, imagine when it's running. Because right now, you bring people in, I have to tell them to hurry up and stop. And you have to build them with the confidence of what we have. And then they see it and the light bulb goes off and then they start sharing. But if it was instant, if you were sharing this with somebody you knew, and they came in, how fast can I make money? Uh, Tomorrow. Ten, in 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a big difference. And uh, no matter how big my team is now, um, I expect it to double in a couple of months. And, and only because I know when I do it then, the day that it's launched, it's real. It's now. I change all the wording on my ads, all of them. There's, there's only a couple more words you can add and it'll make a result of 100,000 times what you're doing. Right now, you guys are bringing in, they ask you, when can I make money? And you have no idea. When right. it launches, when's it going to launch? I don't know. Soon. I mean, it makes it hard. I, I believe this in this company and any, more than anything I've ever done. I'm just saying after the fact, and then you have testimonials, which is which Milo and Julie are going to be doing when they go back to... Carlos and uh, Judy Miller and Ron Holbert uh, six months from now and say, so how you doing? And let me tell you something. It's 100% legal to say, I'm passing, bought me this house. I'm passing, bought me this car. I'm passing, let me quit my job. You can do that. That's fact. You can't do it ahead of time. So imagine the people coming in after the fact, when, when the ball is rolling, the game is on. Hey, come into the stadium and watch our game. When's it going to start? I don't know. One day you're not going to have to say that. It's playing now. When can I make money? Now. You can make money in an hour. You can make money in 10 minutes. So there's a big, I think, I think the what we're thinking is going to happen and what's going to happen. That's why I keep saying, think big. And that has nothing to do with advertising. They're going to bring in thousands of people without advertising to one person, I believe. So... That's just my opinion. Well, I believe that too, Marty. And, and, and another thing, you know, we haven't even touched on uh, with this. We know the dream. We know what's there. But remember, we're the leaders. Uh, the founders are, are the beginning people. You're at a huge advantage. But there's going to be maybe two weeks, maybe a month, that you're going to have a huge advantage. So you've got old net, and you go out there, and you, and you promote old net. You know, everyone that comes in on your Facebook group, and they'll all come because everyone is, you know, hates Facebook now. And once they start, this is that thing's going to go viral. Now, imagine the the old mail. Also, you have old mail that you can actually send out things. And, and I mean, I would be very surprised if they don't have some kind of way that you can put a drip campaign in it that, you know, uh, you send an email to this one today and two days later you send him another email and three days later you send him another one then you send him one the next day and you you make that whatever works for you 
and you can target those people with, you know, and you can take these presentations. And it's, if you didn't do a presentation, that's all right. Go find one that someone did and, and you put that into your, your box so that you're sending it out, you know, over and over. And again, you're, you're spreading the seed, you're doing the consistency. And remember, when that thing launches, when that first nickel hits the, hits the old wallet, it's going to be a different story. It will be, it will change the, everything because at that point, everything speeds up and people will start looking for you to come in. Do you believe that, Marty? No doubt about it. When he says own that, own that for me is going to be the biggest deal. Like right now, um, I'm making a list of 250 people a day from Facebook for own that. No, do I have anything to give them yet? No, but I'm feeding them. They're coming in on passive nation. But um, if they don't like, if they're not in, in, it's mainly I'm building it to get them into ONET when they give us the green light. Reason is everybody you invite to ONET as a free member are hooked to you for life. So if they don't get something today, they don't get something tomorrow, and they don't do it in eight months, nine months, a year, five years. The day they're ready to buy something in you know, in on passive, you're going to get a raise, and it could be as much as seven, eight hundred people a day buying something different than what you're getting already. I know everybody's looking at this. Oh my God, that's impossible! No, it's not impossible. It's happening now. We just not part of it. What you have right now, you need to think of, like especially the new things that are coming out. The free part of it, get people into the free. And stop looking why well, that's not paying me. It's not paying you yet. Facebook doesn't cost anything to get in either. And Mark Zuckerberg is one of the richest men in the world because of the advertising. Unpassive will be the same thing. It's coming. Unpassive will be the unpassive of the, I mean, the Facebook of the world. And people will be coming us to advertise. Why? Can I put an ad on Bill Bland's page? Bill says yes, and the four or five hundred thousand other people say that Nike's one happy company. Let me tell you, because it's going to be going to targeted what people with feet. I mean, think about what's going on here. I mean, and we're in the beginning, like, like Milo said, this isn't like we're coming in a year later, or six months later. Everything starts with us. Everything starts with us. It doesn't. You know, everybody, oh, this guy's got a big team. This guy's got this, this guy's, nothing started yet. Let me tell you, I don't care what team anybody has. When that engine starts and you're in there and you're behind the wheel, I don't care if you have no one, or at least you think you have no one, fasten your freaking seatbelt and get an oxygen tank because you're going to be flying. And everybody's part of it. Everybody. That's why I say plant the seed. I don't give a crap if they get in. Yeah, I do. But I'm saying, don't think about now. Think right. about that seed that Les Brown talks about, where it takes five years to it to pop through the ground. But 90 days later, it's 50 feet high. That's what we're on right now. You're planting a field that's nothing but dirt. But trust me, it's not dirt. It's not dirt. If one day it's going to pop up and you guys are going to get, all of us are going to have a part of that. All of us. Stop thinking so small. That's why I ask, keep saying it. He, he, he says the same thing over yeah. and over. He doesn't mention money. He mentions you, but what, back. what people have, the value of on passive. The value that we have is massive. Oh, okay. Absolutely massive. Yeah, Saturday, um, I have a couple of them. I'm going to mute Julie. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got her. Julie, Julie's trying to jump in there. We get to listen to her conversation. But anyway, it's so true. And, and the other thing, Marty, the backside of it that I like to think about a lot is uh, is make sure that you're thinking ahead. Think ahead. Who are you going to bless? Who's coming in? You know, because I do feel that all of us, you know, if you got one person, you don't realize, like you said, you better strap your belt because you wake up one day and you find out you got 10 people from Germany and three from Poland and seven from England and, you know, uh, two more from the United States, and they're just going to start coming in. When those people start coming in, that wallet's going to fill up. Well, if you just leave those apples in that wallet, they're going to go rotten. 
you know, you don't, if this is not traditional where you have to, you know, you have to worry about that rainy day that's coming up because guess what? Whatever you get this month or today, you're going to get more tomorrow, more the next day or, you know, a month or whatever. You'll never go backwards on this. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen, you know? And so what you need to do is make sure you're, you're thinking ahead. What are you going to do with yours? Are you going to, are you going to give it away to charities? Are you going to give it away to people? You've got family, friends, write it down because it's going to come so fast that you're going to, you're going to come up and, and it comes to the point where we launch and all of a sudden you got all this money in your, your wallet and you're saying, man, what do I do with it? I can go buy a car or, you know, I don't really want to get a car now. What about putting a bunch more people in? I do feel that, you know, if you take that first little bit and you, you put people in and help people out, you know, even if it's half, you're going to have more money than you ever thought, more apples than you ever thought. And it's going to be fun. But don't get caught with not knowing what to do with it because it's a done deal. It's going to happen. Absolutely. I uh, Sorry, I just budged in right there, Marty. I thought I muted myself. But uh, uh, did you see the post that Patty McGuigan put out? A year ago, we only have 130,000 people. I mean, imagine that today, 794,000 people in. So Marty and Milo, you both agree that, uh, you both predicted that 800,000 is going to hit on Tuesday. When is uh, the millions going to hit? What, what do you both think? I think the million will hit whenever Ash wants it to hit, to tell you the truth. I mean, I think... I think at that point, 200,000 Ash is really in control. He could, he could do it whenever he wants to, but I think he wants to make sure all the testing is done and that the soft launch is done, whatever he wants to do with that, make sure everything's right. But whenever it's ready to launch, I think Ash could, honestly, I think Ash could hit it in a couple of days if he wanted to, you know, to I be honest so. with you. I think he could put 100,000 100, in a day if he wanted to. Uh, just a matter of AI and, and using, uh, uh, you know, his his traffic and stuff like that. What do you think, Marty? Yeah, I, I mean, he could put a million in, in any time he wanted to if he, if he wants to. Uh, if it keeps going the way it's going, it'll be 80 days from now. Yeah. Uh, it's, it figures, uh, can I say something? Go ahead, <laughs> it, figures, it figures it out to be just about what the they, they gave us uh, in the in the weeks and months. Yeah, it it's just that this really hits close. It's like October sometime. Yeah. yeah. But like like Milo said, if it goes, if it, that's why that's why he said I'm picking a number and not a date. And the reason he said that is he doesn't know what's going to happen in soft launch when he even if soft launch want, runs two weeks. Because he's not got a big emphasis on soft launch anymore. He just wants to check a couple things, that's it, and shut it down. <clears throat> but if soft launch does what I think it's going to do, it's going to cut the time frame way down to get to that million people. I, that's, I just believe it is. And when that happens, he's either going to have to slow it down if he's not ready, or even, okay, we're done with Founders. We're going to launch in three weeks or whatever, and you can't bring anybody in. I mean, that could happen. We don't want to market anymore. I mean, that really could happen. But I think it's a strategic thing on his part, but I don't think he ever wants to get to the point where you can't bring somebody in. So I think, I, I mean, that, I, I could be wrong. I, I don't ask. I talk to him a lot. I do, but I don't ask stuff like that because they'll probably stop talking to me. No, yeah. I, I, I don't, don't want to ask. Yeah. Very cool. Very interesting. Wow. Yeah. If you look back the path that you, we have traveled so far, it's amazing, isn't it? How our mind is expanded and our like, heart. Like, is... like 15,000 when I started, Julie. Yeah. I know. And, I would... and by the way, the number's wrong. One day I got into an account and somehow something was wrong with the account and I could back trace all the way to the number one person mm. and a, a couple thousand weren't even real numbers. It, it, like zero was actually 2000 and something. 
Yeah. So yeah. even when Milo started, there was less people than Milo thinks there was. Yeah. The number might have said one thing, but I think it was there was less people. And remember, 2019, a lot of founders came in and didn't pay. Right. They're, they're getting caught up now. I mean, I think the number is more true today because <clears throat> I think a lot of people did pay. But there was a, a periods of time where people came in and didn't pay or paid them six months later or whatever. But uh, yeah, I think there's a there's a boatload of people under my love, that's for sure. Yeah, I think there was 2,500 in when I came in, roughly. So that's yeah. a yeah. That's pretty good like number to have. Pretty, probably closer to 1,700. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I, I, I put my head on the pillow at nine and I'm just, I know I'm so blessed to be where I'm at with own passive and I, uh, it just, it honestly is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Marty, you came in early in March, right? 2019? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was right behind you. So, um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Um, what do we, what else do we want to talk about? Um, well, we got some hands up. Uh, Musa, Musa, come on down, Musa, and talk to us, brother. Musa is in the attendees, and I've been bringing him or her on, and I couldn't do it. And he, I don't think he's there, because because when I send a message over, he should, yeah, he lowered his hand already. No, he's got uh, it up. No. I see. No, he's no, at no. the top. He's right at the top. Oh, my. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Hello, Musa. can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can yes hear. Uh, good. Uh, yeah, good afternoon and uh, good evening those who are in Cameroon, in Africa, in other parts. I, I know somehow it's still early afternoon in the, in New York and other part of the world. Okay, uh, like any other person, I am excited. I, I feel privileged to be part of this uh, very important family that is uh, looking brightly into the into the future and trying to save humanity from the scourge of poverty. So I, I feel I am fulfilling my mission as an activist for long, campaigning for human rights and campaigning for the emancipation of my community. And you know, one of the fundamental human rights is right to food and right to life. And if you are you are poor, I don't think you have the right to food. I don't think you even have a full right to, to life. So uh, I see on passive as an opportunity for me to fulfill that mission of eradicating poverty and hunger within our community. We are pastoralists. We are African. We are indigenous people. And we need your support. I am so, I'm quite certain among the 870 something thousand we are today. I would like to believe 
we have very few people, or if not, I am alone as an indigenous person on this platform. And therefore representing over 370 million indigenous people all over the world. That is, I'm talking about United Nations figure on indigenous people. You can check it online with the United Nations Permanent Forum on indigenous issue. So this is what I want to say that I would like to, to thank the founder of Unpassive, Asma Farid, for being so creative and moving away from the typical capitalist system to open up for, for the underprivileged to be able to, to be part of his world. Because I see this like something that is already realized. It's only a matter of action in it. It's have been realized. It is all accomplished. But you need to just, we are waiting just for time for it to be action. So that's why Ab Absolutely. I'm excited. Thank you. And Thank absolutely, you, Musa. Uh, you know, this is going to do great things for all of us. And, uh, you know, we are blessed people, you know, because Ash started this and, and the way that it's going to work. And I, I do feel that everybody's going to be affected in the world. It doesn't matter where you are, what you do, because uh, all we got to do is plant one seed in one of those countries and it will it will just explode. You know, it will, because when you think about it, you know, the one person that's got it, he can give it to another. And then all of a sudden that gets bigger and it just, uh, it will grow. This is one of the most incredible things I've ever seen where the more you give away, the more you get back into your pocket, you know? And uh, so it's going to change the world for a lot of us. And when you think about it, you know, only 60% of the country right now gets internet. What happens when 100%, that's 40% of people that, that don't have connections to the internet. What happens when those people not only get connection to the internet, but they have money to buy, whether it's uh, in my case, you know, I love music. And so if they have a chance to buy music now because of old wallet will allow them to buy it. It's going to change the life of everybody. I promise you. It's, it's crazy. You know, I sit there and my head just goes, ah, explodes, you know, about all the things that happened. Julie, back to you. Yes, yes. Before I call, call on Curtis, Edward has a question. After launch, will it be better to buy more accounts or should I just purchase more traffic? What's your thoughts here at uh, either Milo or Marty? Well, I think anytime you, anytime you buy more accounts, you know, it's a good thing because it's going gonna, it's gonna to explode whether you do it as a reseller, you know, whatever you can get as a founder, that's almost like a uh, let's say lakefront property. I remember back in the fifties and up in Michigan, you could buy, you could buy lakefront property for like $10,000. You go to buy that same property today, it's $1.5 million, you know, for the same lot. So that's the way this is going to be, you know, once the founders are gone, you know, if you can pick up extra spots, you know, you're not going to lose at it and you're going to be able to you know, put businesses on. But I also believe that reseller, you know, if you buy a reseller spot or you buy a reseller spot for someone is even better because when you buy for someone, then they do that work. They do the work for you. They're like a marketing person for you. Uh, you know, you don't have to go out and get people in. They will. And that all comes under you. What's your thoughts, Marty? Oh, I 
same thing. I mean, but if I was to get a spot, I would do it before the launch. And then <clears throat> after the launch, um, I always say if you, if you get a spot, wherever you get it, if you get it from somebody else, don't build under it, build under your original. But then mm -hmm. after, uh, if you want more traffic, pay for it. And then, because remember, the more, the more founder positions you have, it's cash registers. The more people you have, that's customers. I would much rather have a cash register. Right. And, but I mean, you could, if, uh, if you could do it now, I'd do it now. I wouldn't wait. But if you can't, yeah, I mean, nothing bad. Obviously, if you can get another reseller position, like I, I wouldn't buy a reseller position for myself. I would do what like Milo said. I would buy one and give it to someone because then money won't matter. And you can really help a lot of people that way. Anyway, you would I agree make, with you. Would, you could make them a cash register. Let's put it that way. So I agree with you, Marty. Don't you think the traffic is going to come automatically? I mean, and I think any of us in here right now that are listening to this, you know, that are founders, I think that the traffic is going to come so fast that I mean, yeah, maybe you will want to buy it, but chances are you're going to have. The, that top line of traffic within a, a few weeks or so. Yeah, I, I can't imagine anybody that's a founder today that you're even going to be thinking about traffic. I mean, you can if you want, but I right. mean, I think we're going to get we're going to get hundreds of thousands of people, and that's without the company doing anything. Right. I think the viral effect will be so big that even if the company didn't start marketing, we wouldn't even know it. You would think they're marketing when they're not. I would think because it's going to go viral big time. I, I mean, the example I have, I know one thing that happened when we made <clears throat> we made an ad one time, and I was making the ad encouraging people to share it, and because I knew long term what it would do, and what had actually happened was I shared it, and I forgot what I put in there to get people to share it, but they shared it. I had. 20,000 people share it. And then it hit 950,000 likes, almost a million. I shut it down and it ran for another two months because of the viral effect. It already had, I couldn't even stop it. In fact, the company I was working for that did it wasn't in business anymore. <laughs> I had to go back and tell people, stop, stop. There's no way to stop it. <laughs> because it got that much momentum. Now with on passive, when it gets started and people are, are looking at it on TV or they're hearing it in tech magazines and they go, what's this on passive? They start punching in Google, what's on passive? And they run into everybody that you see here and they start joining. They'll join as resellers or join as customers. A lot of resellers are come in. A lot of customers are come in and realize they'll bring their business with them candles or whatever they're doing and they love the business and a very short time after they get going they're going to realize they can make a lot more money in on passive than they can the candle business and they'll probably give it up and become a reseller just to, on passive but i also think people like magi magicians like milo said that come in and can actually be the star they should be by the viral effect of sharing with people it's going to blow people away. I don't care what you're doing, a book, uh, whatever you're selling. I mean, that's what you get to be part of it, though, because you have a say in it. Because you, you've already here, you're the roots of the company. So, but virals, are, it's a lot of fun. You'll see what I'm talking about because you're going to be part of it. But you'll see it just one day you might be, you know, you say, oh, wow, I made 500 bucks. The next day you made a thousand. And the next day you made 5,000, next day you made 10,000, next day you made 30,000, next day. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen to everybody. It's going to happen to somebody. It's going to happen to a lot of people, I can tell you that, because it's just the way it's going to happen. These people are, listen, here, a guy spending like ass right now, $10,000 a month on Zoom, you wouldn't do it for two fifty dollars instead in better quality? Come on, you don't have to sell it. It's not even for sale. You just say, hey, do you want this Mercedes or would you like this beat up freaking Volkswagen? 
Oh, I'll take the Volkswagen. I mean, it's not a sale. You're just, here, pick one. And then you get a free offer, so you get to drive the Mercedes around for a week or however long. And then say, okay, do you want this or would you like to go back? Oh, and by the way, it's one, one tenth the price. And it's unlimited. We're going to give you gas for life. Come on, it's crazy. We don't have to sell anything. I mean, that's why I think the sailing part of it is it's going to be more of a sharing. I don't think the sharing thing stops. I think the company's going to share the products. They don't have to compete with anybody. So, well, what about the competition? What competition? There is none. There is none. There will not be none. Everybody wants to save money. It's crazy. But anyway. That's uh, right. Go ahead, Julie. Yeah, I said that's right, Marty. Love what you're sharing. I see her, Curtis' hands has been up for a while. Let's Curtis say a few words, and I'd like to call on Leroy. Leroy put on the chat that he has some suggestions for the trip. So, Curtis, uh, let's have you go first. You know, it might just be a, a feeling of mine, a premonition, or something, and and something that I'm seeing on all the posts that I do. But I have been attacked so much by spammers in the last three days. It's unbelievable. Um, every time I post something, the spammers come on. The other thing I, I would really like to know, Bill Must and um, Tim Johnson had a picture on of a pier and a coffee cup. And I use that on one of my writing. And everybody wants to know, where can they get that coffee cup? So if anyone knows where they can get that coffee cup, please let me know so I can I can put it out there for people to get. But you know it is it's getting it's getting real exciting, and and the haters are coming out like you wouldn't believe now, and just just everything. In fact, one of them I put on there. I said I said please don't uh, post on any of my posts anymore. Thanks. And they sent back the emoji of flipping me off about 10 times. So I guess I guess I must have pissed them off pretty good. But that's all I've got. Thank you, Curtis. Uh, you know, you actually can have a setting when someone tests, when tag you or anything like that. You can just turn them off. You don't have to show them on your, your feed. So I think there's a feature that you can do that. Thank you, Curtis. All right, Leroy uh, from Eastern Washington, U.S. You have some tip. You have some suggestions for our group trips. Leroy? Yes. Yes. Hi. You can hi. hear me, correct? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. Um, I don't have my uh, video going. I'm, I'm not appropriately dressed. I'm not working in the backyard in extremely hot weather, and uh, I, I don't think no one wants to really see me. <laughs> the way I'm dressed, but um, I was um, I was giving some thought to uh, when uh, uh, you were, the conversation came up about a trip to Maryland and or uh, uh, Washington D.C. I, I I usually listen to a lot of your um, you and Milo's um, uh, webinars and. Um, uh, I, I usually don't really come out and really say anything. I just, I just kind of enjoy listening to what everybody has to say and uh, their, their participation in it and watching their growth and everything. And um, so, but I kind of missed out on uh, this Maryland, uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, conversation. I do know about the Cancun uh, one that you were uh, talking about. But um, uh, uh, during, during that time, I was given some thought to um, uh, planning. And uh, uh, one, one of the thoughts that came to my mind was that uh, uh, if, um, if, they, if you all coordinate um, with some of your local RV uh, uh, businesses, that uh, do rentals um, and uh, have a, a driver that's present. Um, you can do a, a convoy of uh, RVs, which would make uh, traveling uh, for elderly a lot more comfortable than uh, in a, tr a car or uh, a bus. Um, and you can also uh, give some thought to uh, 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 
some of the uh, younger um, uh, founders that are struggling with income as uh, uh, pulling together uh, uh, money to let them be drivers. Uh, they, you know, uh, a lot of people can't drive RVs. Uh, they don't have the experience parking and, and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but they, uh, uh, RV companies kind of give you a, a test period. So uh, that could kind of go into the planning uh, for whoever's going to be designated uh, driver. Um, and, um, and everybody just maybe kind of pitch in for the, uh, the driver that would uh, uh, be able to make a little income. Um, uh, also, uh, that would uh, kind of promote uh, uh, the uh, our, uh, on passive uh, go founders uh, with these RV companies because we're looking at uh, a, a lot of people are going to be uh, having a lot of apples to uh, uh, have their own. And, uh, and I know the RV uh, industry has uh, really been hurting during this COVID uh, deal. And uh, I'm sure that there's a lot that would uh, love to take a look at what this is all about, being, becoming a part of it, uh, working out some uh, promotional deals. Uh, uh, and um, having uh, prospective uh, uh, buyers to those, uh, uh, for those RVs uh, and or rentals. But um, it, it would, uh, it would allow for people that have dietary uh, issues to uh, be able to uh, be able to cook, um, uh, prepare their own meals, and so far and so on. Um, and uh, you know, I mean, there, there's a, just a host of uh, of things that uh, you can uh, uh, maybe a uh, uh, nurse that um, uh, has some free time. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, 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 to ride along and uh, that would uh, uh, um, go in hand in hand with uh, what Dr. Shaw is sitting up there saying uh, for if there's any uh, medical issues and things of that nature, whereas on a, uh, in cars and things of that nature, it's a little bit more uh, uh, Plan out, right? <laughs> Thank you, Leroy. Difficult to kind of do that. Yeah, you know, so, yeah. yeah. So that was, it's just an idea. Thank, thank you, Leroy. I appreciate you. We haven't gotten to that point where we actually do a row show with an RV with a lot of people uh, yet. We haven't gotten there yet. So I appreciate you giving us some idea. Um, the traveling is basically just myself traveling and I'm called everyone that is around the area just uh come and get together that's basically uh the purpose of it right now but yes definitely when we come on to uh the other long-term traveling uh that is something that we would definitely look into and consider so thank you Leroy for that suggestion thank you oh, okay okay all right thank you thank you um, everyone, um, I, I know some of you are not in Facebook, um, but some of them are. I just received some email from, from uh, the listeners that actually listen right now. I don't communicate a whole lot on email because, you know, email has a lot of things that I have to go through. Um, if it's just a general information, if you could please send me a private message on my Facebook that I just uh, share with you here. And um, once it comes close to the traveling, I will ask for your phone number and we take our traveling private into a, a group text instead. I think that's safer uh, rather than have a messenger uh, communication. So if you could please send me a, um, a message there on my Facebook and say, oh, I'm interested to hear more information about your traveling or whatnot. Uh, I also create a lot of Facebook messenger group that, uh, you know, focusing on Texas, for example, or Canada or California, any of all that. Uh, if you are in the state and you want to connect with people, with founders in your states, please send me a message as well and just say, uh, my name is this and um, 
you know, please add me to, you know, that particular state, whatever you wanted to do, because on that state uh, communication, basically people just say, hi, my name is this and I'm in this area. So basically, you know, a lot of group is, you know, use that as a state and state chat. Some people would just use that as friends chat. It, it doesn't matter. So if you like to be put in those states, a chat in Facebook Messenger, please send me a message. And uh, my Facebook uh, page is on the chat. Um, all right, um, let's see. What else do you want to talk about, Milo? Do you have anything in mind or should we go on with continuously having conversation with you and Marty? What, whichever way works. Or oh, anyone have some jokes? Or like Chris, let's um, do some movement you know, get yourself, get get yourself up and shake some. Uh, Mar Milo, can you sing a song for all of us? Just kind of like stretching around and dancing or whatever, Milo? Uh, I don't know what song I would sing, uh, but uh, let me look through my list here and see if any of you guys like any of these songs and, that I Let's got. Do something noisy and loud and moving around because we've sat for two hours if you haven't gotten up, it's time right now to get up and dance. Do oh, something. my phone went out. Uh-oh. Shake your body. Shake your body. You can get an Indian song. Yeah, Wait. go ahead. In, in, oh, no, yeah. Uh, yeah, in the, we haven't had that for a long time. Yeah. And they used, Yeah, and they used to be so lovely. Which song? Indian, a song from the Indians. Pooja, do you have any song you want to play for? Oh, you know it might be morning time in their side of town, and it might be uh, it might be too much. That's They're fine. probably gonna wake the whole family up. Yeah. So, um, Pooja and Jay, next time you have some song that is, uh, you know, that's appropriate to listen, please send it to me. And you know, Indian song always fun. They do a lot of dancing and moving around. Um, but yeah, we need to wake up or we can shut it do down. <laughs> but we have, what, 123 people on. We Earlier we had like 130 something people on. We just need to wake everybody up. And um, if you like to say something, please do. Okay, no one? Anybody? Anybody? Do you want to do I'm kidding. <laughs> Somebody you needs to put a post party? up pretending the ashes are on here and we'll jump that number to a thousand <laughs> real fast marty can you do that marty can you uh can you <laughs> sing marty that would be a good thing marty to sing yeah. how about richard lamont we haven't heard from him no let's marty sing first i like to hear yeah. marty hold on, hold on. troy yes i don't know if pot smoking is legal in california but if you are stop doing it um, no, I'm not singing, okay? <laughs> I couldn't carry a bucket, a tune in a bucket, okay? No, I'm not, no thanks. You just go la 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 la. We could have Marcy Ann sing, she sings well. Sing us your own passive song, Marcy Ann. Have Marcy Ann sing that song. Yeah. No, I, I have another one. Um, Okay. This is this is very new. I have not finished reading it yet, but I can give you guys a little tick of it. Okay. Yeah, we love to hear. Te souviens-tu mal au chaque fois que l'on se voit? Nous ne parlons que d'un passif, que d'un passif. Voilà pourquoi tu es mon meilleur ami. Tu m'as bien dit qu'il n'y a rien au monde de mieux qu'on passif, on passif alors. Hey Julie, j'ai vu Malo, il est maintenant chape à mort, il habite en face de l'auberge. Sa copine m'a enfin salué hier, j'étais fou de joie. À mon avis, il n'y a rien au monde de mieux qu'on passif, on passif alors. Tchao, that's the chick of it. <laughs> That sounds good. That so, was awesome. I, I recognize Milo and Julie in there. I hope I yeah. hope Julie could get the the wordings. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to set uh, Milo sing. 
Yeah, that Milo, every time we met, we talk only about on passive. There's nothing beautiful in the world now more than on passive. And Julie, and I say, hey, Julie, guess what? I've met Milo. He's looking very beautiful now. You know yeah. what? It's because all about on passive. So it's just some kind of stuff you said like that in the song. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's it. Uh, on passive, we've got so many new friends, and it's great. Uh, uh, I it's, a, it's, a rock and roll, it's a rock and rock song. Yeah, that sounded good. I could sing That's Life if you guys want me to. Sure. A good yeah. uh, old Frank Sinatra oh. song. All right, let's see if I, I think I got it here. Uh -oh. oh, Frank Sinatra, that's my best. Uh, Frank is your band? Yes, I hope you sing what I know. Okay, well, let I me see. Take, I, I love him so much. I used to take care of a lady, and he was like, if she want to be quiet, she have to listen to Franz. Franz. <laughs> and Frank that was, Sinatra. yes. And all the family, they told me before I came there that this is all she would like to be quiet all day, just put it on. So I got so involved and get so in love with him and the thoughts and everything he was saying makes so much sense. So, and I started using him to write some part of my music also. <laughs> awesome. Well, this song's a good one because it says that's life and that's what on passive's all about, man. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, but pretty soon we are headed to the moon. I, and I don't know, fly me over the moon or maybe I could sing that one. Let's see. Uh oh, what's going on here? Come on, come on, come on. Maybe. Just shot down in May. I know that I'm gonna change that pattoon when I'm back on the top. Back on the top when old passive launches I said that's a life. Oh yeah. And it's funny as it may seem. Some people get their kicks out of stepping on old Milo's train. But I don't let it, I don't let it get me down, no. Cause this whole world keeps spinning around. I've been a pauper, a poet, a pirate, a poet, a pawn and a king. I've been up and down and over and out, but I know one thing. Each time I find myself, I Flat on my face, well, I just pick myself up and get back in the race. Hey, that's life. I tell you, I just can't deny it. I thought of quitting once, but baby, this old heart's not gonna buy it. And if I didn't think it was worth one single try, well, I jump right on that big bird and I fly. I've been a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet, a pawn and a king. I've been up and down and over and out, but I know one thing. Each time I find myself a, a flat on my face, well, I just pick myself up and get Back in the race, hey, that's a life. I tell you, I just can't deny it. Many times I thought of cutting out, baby, but my whole heart ain't gonna buy it. But there's nothing she can come here in October. I'm gonna roll myself up in a big ball. Yeah, a little 
that's life. Wow, 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 wow. Frank Sinatra, one of my favorites. Uh, oh, Frankie, I could have did Fly Me Over the Moon, but I don't know that one. That would be a good one for own passive. Oh, my gosh. Over the moon. Variety is always on the menu. Whoops. That was over the top, my love. Hey, thank you, brother. I bought one for the kids. I love flying me to the moon. Do I thought what? you were gonna sing that one. I man, I wish I, I knew it, but I don't know. You could have stole my heart right there when you sing oh, that. Oh man, song. I, man, if I would have <laughs> just have a piano, Julie, I thought you know I okay, sing a little speak. bit, play the piano. That's why you know I, I'm trying, trying hard, you know. <laughs> It's not too late. It's not too late. I could have did I did it my way. That's the only other Frank Sinatra song I know. Yeah. Uh, Frank Sinatra. Really, ma'am, I have I have sent you through Messenger one Indian song. I do. Would you I, I pull it up? Would you like to hear it? Uh I send you send send you a one song of Indian through Messenger. All right. Land of the rising sun. I'm a search for my true love. From Africa, Australia, America. Wasn't that beautiful? She's so pretty. It's a good one. All right, all right. That was a good one. Thanks, Jay. Anyone else has anything else to say? We could shut this down anytime. We've having having a lot of fun. Lots of information being shared. Lots of chat. Uh, what's your thought, Myron? 
Yeah, I mean, if someone's got something to say, uh, you know, let's hear it. We got like uh, maybe 20 minutes left if they want. Otherwise, we can shut it down or... I have 114 uh, people here. Let's say something. Uh, how about the song we, we, we can sing We Are the World. Yes. I don't know the words. Where's Cedric? <laughs> Okay, I can pull We Are the World up. Um, Curtis Bilma said that uh, go ahead and check your uh, message on Messenger. I think he's sending you something. Uh, Sister, come, may we go? Julie, may we can you pull up? We, well, I got, yeah, just pull up the one with the words on it, with them singing. Yeah, the world? Yeah, I'm doing it. Hold on, okay? Give me one second. Why don't you take the mic, Milo? It's going to take a while for me to pull it up. So I'm going to mute myself. Hello? And, uh, <laughs> Belle chanson, Marcienne. Okay, Hello, Sister, this, come. This may is Milo go. with... Uh, Julie and Milo show, and I'm here to tell you that it's 3.30, and, and it's time for the news. So we are going to be singing, We Are the World. So mute your mics and join in. But uh, anyway, I don't know, what, what would you guys like to talk? Tim Dillon, why don't you come out and talk to us, Tim? Hello, Tim. Can you unmute yourself? Hello, Milo. Hey, Tim. How you doing, brother? Good to I'm see you. I'm doing very well. Uh, I just can't stop shaking. I'm waiting for this dragster to take off. Oh, man. Me too. I'm watching those lights, but they haven't got down to the green light yet. Won't be long. I hear you, brother. I, I know that... Uh, we don't get a lot of hands raised because I think the question that is on everybody's mind, they're not allowed to ask. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the truth. I mean, it's not you're not allowed to ask. It's just no one knows the answer. Well, that's part of it. But uh, as you know, and we all know, it's coming. It Don't will be. get here. Yes, sir. Soon. And it could be sooner than we know. That, that's a fact. It will be sooner. Yeah, it's, it's going to be soon, man. I, I feel it right now coming for sure. But the man, the man that has built this big, beautiful mountain, it's up to him. Right. And we're all waiting for him to share that announcement. Yep, he's calling the shots. So, and uh, as we sit and wait, we're all we've all got goosebumps. We're all shaking, quaking, rocking and rolling, and enjoying these days that are leading up to the change in the world. Absolutely. It's a journey, brother. And we got to enjoy the journey. Not just when we get there, but we have to enjoy the journey. And we are the world. So, hey, Julie, you got well, that? Let's go ahead and We play. may be the world. We may be the world. But along with that song, have a listen to John Lennon. Imagine. Woo, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. All right, so in order for us, this is, this is a recording that we're going to put it out there. So in order for us to actually have a beautiful recording and let the song play, I think it would be best for you to turn on your camera, but turn off your mic. So let the video does it. This one has a lyric on it. Because if all of us singing, it'll be like chopping and chatting and it's kind of like really terrible so sound. Right, Milo? I know you're a sound person. Um, I think it would be best if we all just turn off our mic and sing it on ourselves on our end, uh, but let the song play and then the lyrics is also playing. Is that good? 
Could I make a statement real quick, Julie, before the song? Sure. Of, course, of course, Trevor. So, a picture inside all of our heads from Ash's conversation is uh, a rocket ship. That's what this thing is. And as astronauts, it's what we all are. Astronauts were beyond passive rocket ship. Um, when the actual launch happens, astronauts prepare months and months and months ahead of time for that. And they experience extreme G-forces on launch. So just imagine that the more you prepare, the less the G-forces will have an effect on you. So that's what we're all doing now, right here, this instance, like this, the webinars and sharing and commenting on all of everybody's posts. That's the preparedness that we're all doing. So get ready for those G-forces, everybody. It's gonna be in extremely insane. That's it, that's all I wanted to say. All right, thank you, Trevor. Um, so here, here is the thing. We're gonna play this and, uh, and then I'll come back and wrap up the show. But just know, last week, I actually had a conversation with a gentleman who worked with Michael Jackson behind the song, um, Men, in, Men in the Mirror. And uh, I've been in contacting with him. Uh, he does, uh, he wrote songs and music, some of the songs that uh, he prepared to do that with Michael Jackson and the next day he passed away. So um, there is some works that, some research, some works that is going behind the scene. Um, that's only on my end. I don't know if other people are doing it. Uh, but there's something behind the scene. And we all know that if there's a company come out, especially on passive with all the hearts and everything that is going on, we are going to have, I mean, I'm sure it's in everyone's mind. We are going to have an on passive theme song. So, you know, uh, let's use the, 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 this song right now and let's mute our mic so that we have this song play beautifully. And there's lyric there. We can all join in singing on our end. My Lord, are you there? Are we ready to do this? Yes. Um, I'm going to expand this and I'll just, um, I'm just going to play and I'll be quiet. I won't sing because you will hear me singing. So I'm just going to play this. <laughs> Change. We are the 
Such an awesome video. Good stuff. Beautiful there. words. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Well, Julie, it what? looks like a day. Love that song. Home. You know what? I prefer the one heal the world. It's a better one than this one. Heal the world. 
there's a few of them. Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah, there's a few of them. See what's actually happening in the world right now in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. everyone, thank you so much for being here. Um, it's been a wonderful three hours, almost three hours. Thank you for everyone. I know you have other things to do, but I think we are all addicted to on passive. When there is a webinar, you always want to show up. And when there is no webinar, you call everybody, is there a webinar today? I have received so many of those messages. So um, today is uh, Saturday in the US. There's gonna be one tonight with Papua New Guinea. And my computer is saying that it's too hot right now, but um, I'm so thankful that we are here. Um, and remember there are uh, webinars everywhere. It's time for us to next time, we show up to one webinar, we should take one of our friend, one of our old founder that uh, are not uh, plug in, uh, that are not uh, being active. Maybe it's sometime when we are start waking them up, letting them know that on passive is here. The rumbling is already here. I already feel it. I feel like the ship has getting ready to launch. So I'm sure we'll all do that. So thank you everyone for being, being here. Uh, we always do this again, Saturday next week. Um, Saturday next week, we might be somewhere else. I don't know, what are you doing next week, Milo? Will you still be here with us? No, I will be in uh, Orlando with my grandson. Okay. He's in that competition. Now, I don't know if I'll get, you know, if I'll have one to four open or if I can pop in, I might. But I wouldn't okay. tell me being here because I don't know. I. Cooper starts his singing competition right. on uh, Saturday. Yeah, I got to bring my fan up so my computer don't die on me because it's getting hot. Uh, right here. All right, stay there. <laughs> um, so Saturday, uh, we're coming back. Uh, whether Milo is here or not, we're, we're coming back to do that. And then the following week is the 7th. Um, I might be traveling because uh, I know I'm getting on the plane and then uh, land in Orlando uh, early morning. So uh, please stand by and, and we'll keep you up to date. And if we, if Milo and I are not here, we're, we always know that our, one of our friends here with us. Last week we had Judy Miller and Pam Turner and Kevin Rutledge step in to help us. So there's hey, will hi, always be you. someone here. Um, for the presenters um, that you have started the presentation, if you could please send me uh, what other presentation that you need. Um, and then I'll put it in the list and then I'll shoot it back out to you. And I'd like you to pick your favorite one. I believe Bill Must is already helping uh, getting one of your presentation in video. Um, we could do that, send me that, and then I'll set it together. Milo is here on Tuesday and Wednesday. Those are the days that I can get you on. I'm going to save those spots for the presenters that actually have not finished the 12th. Uh, if you could please let me know what else you need, and then I'll get you on schedule. We're going to work Milo before he goes, and uh, we can get that on for you. We're going to have a Mandarin presentation coming up on Thursday. Um, Thursday, we're going to record the Mandarin one because a lot of people are waiting for Mandarin, um, you know, presentation to come out. So those are the updates that we have. And uh, Thursday always, or Wednesday? I'm sorry, Milo? Thursday or Wednesday? Um, I can record the Mandarin. She's only had the uh, Thursday or Friday off. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Pat Pat Patricia Tang is going to do the Mandarin, and I think a lot of people need that uh, Mandarin presentation, and I'll record her and I'll put it out there. Um, Who's doing Wednesday? I, I'm still not putting anyone in yet. I'm waiting for the presenter that's sending me what they need, and then I'll send it back to you, have you prepare, and then I'll schedule them. So if you haven't complete your 12, uh, you'll hear from me first. I'm going to I'm going to actually hopefully put everyone on the Tuesday and then on Wednesday we have new person like Carlos to come and record the new presentation and then if Cynthia likes to do it she can do that. Cynthia Brown? Wednesday. Yolanda is going to do a presentation Brown? for a live one. Yeah, Cynthia Brown is going to do a presentation right. and she's going to do 
she's going to do it live on oh. Wednesday night. And then nice. she's going to do a presenter series. Yes, she is going to do it. So awesome. I'm I so love happy it. For her. Yeah. So, yeah. And then Bridget Kamsey, she's going to start too. So I'm hoping that I can put all the presenter that needs to finish on Tuesday. And then hopefully we can start some new one on Tuesday, on Wednesday, before you go, Milo. Bridget already has done some, right? Or was that her? No, was... she hasn't started yet. Oh, so okay. She, she just start. did the she just did the founder show then. No, she she only did the founder interview, but she hasn't done the uh, yet. And I got then, it. All right, Bridget. Yeah. Yeah, and then once we kind of finish that, we're gonna blend in with some more interview, you know, with the founder. So if you haven't been a guest where we interview you. It is time to at least send me an email so I can keep you in the queue. And then when we have some time, we'll put you in. Trust me, when you are coming into the guest for interview with Julie and Milo show is your chance to, uh, this is not a good word, but it's chance to sell yourself, to tell where you're from, what you did, fail or, or succeed, and then what, how on passive can change your life. So um, that is an opportunity for you to do that. So thank you so much for being here with us. Milo and I talk a lot today. We hope to hear from you next time. Uh, please stay well, stay healthy. If you start your day today, hope you have a fantastic day. And all the people in the US, please enjoy your weekend. Love you all. Bye. Love, love you all. Bye. Thanks for sharing everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Let's see, where'd I go? Good night, Cynthia Brown. Good night, Alan Bourne. Good night, Robert Owen. Good night, Good night. 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 You too. Yeah. Thanks, Milo. You Love, you guys. Love, right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Guys. Bye. 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 Time of peace is coming. Everyone should sing. Better life we're loving. Our passive will bring. Anything you need. Now is in one place. Fullness waiting to be yours, nothing less than grace. Close your eyes, spread your wings, make your dreams come true. Share the joy, share the love, total freedom comes to you. Close your eyes, spread your wings. Make your dreams come true. You are not alone. On passive is your Selfless love join to make a paradise on earth with us together and take care of each other forever and forever. Close your eyes, spread your wings, make your dreams come true. Share the joy, share the love, total freedom comes to you. Close your eyes, spread your wings, spread your make your dreams.